Everything is ready, babe. I'm done. I'm done. I'm right. But you asked me to make you more plantain and egg. Yes, I thought I needed them. Apparently, I didn't. So why are you doing this? I didn't even take much time preparing it. Why are you rejecting it? I didn't say you wasted any time, did I? I didn't say that. Oh. Tom, you made me go through more stress preparing this plantain and egg. And now you don't want to have it anymore. Why? You're my wife. It is your job to cook for me. Or has the status quo changed? Has it? So what do I do with it? I'm off. <clears throat> See you before lunch. Uh, what, what, what do I make for you for lunch? Lunch? Uh, I don't know what I want yet. I'll call you before noon to let you know what I want. My suitcase? Oh, my bad. Um, it's not in the kitchen, it's upstairs. Sorry. Yeah. Here we are. Meet me outside, baby. Where are you? Mama? How can you come into Nigeria without letting me know? No, 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 I'm not saying it's a problem, I'm just saying that. I'm sorry, Mom. Mom, I said I'm sorry. <clears throat> so. Of course, of course, I know, I know. I said, I'm sorry, I'm coming to pick you. Is that fine? Oh, all right, all right, mom. All right. Okay. Hello, babe. Yeah. My mom is in the country. Exactly what I said. I but please, I don't want you to bother about that. Just call me now. I know she was coming into the country. Yeah, just um, get everything ready. And please, help me make um, sala soup. That's her favorite. And everything, right? Okay? Mm. No, 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 I'm on my way to the airport to pick her. That's fun.
Welcome. You are such a gentle man. Oh, so you wish. Raised one. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, God. Welcome. Welcome. Who is he? You got another security man? Oh, yes, mom. You said you didn't like Adamo because he was always sleeping on duty. So, why is your hair like this? Why are you looking scruffy? Ma, sorry, my Malians, man. Excuse you. Malians, it's a timer. Um, mom, he he's doing okay. Uh, at least he doesn't sleep on duty. Get my stuff from the. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey! Don't don't touch my luggage. What, mom? You want me to carry that? Where is that thing you call a wife? She should come get it. Or she didn't hear me coming. I'll get her. Uh, I said don't touch my luggage. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, amazing grace How sweet the sound That say Oh! Is it that you didn't hear us driving or you're just pretending? Go on and, and, and welcome my, my mother, your mother-in-law that you have not seen her over a year. Babe, I'm just trying to fix what Will you... Will just stop that nonsense and go and welcome my mother? Okay, let me drop it. Drop it. Drop it here. Go at once. Can you just leave everything? I said go at once. Ma, my, my name is Philip, man. The new GM, man. The new GM. I didn't man. ask you. Mom, why are you still there? Making sure that this thing does not touch my belongings. Good afternoon, ma. You're welcome, ma. Madam. It took your husband to come and call you. To come outside to say hello to me. You didn't hear I was coming home. I... I I'm sorry, ma, but I was in the kitchen. I was trying to fix you something to eat. <laughs> it's not been long he told me you were at the airport. It's fixed. So. Get my luggage. How was your journey, ma? Sorry. house. You mean you people don't have food? She's busy. I hope you haven't brought me back here to stab me to death. I'm not starving you. She's busy. She, the food was I have been hearing this the last two hours. You knew I was coming. Mom, you just called me from the airport. So what? What's difficult in making food? Please, if you have nothing for me to eat, that's fine. Just take me to a good restaurant so I get something to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, God. All right, Mom, just a few minutes. We'll be ready a moment, please. Few minutes? Few minutes. If that food doesn't come, I'll go out and look for something to eat. <laughs> Mom, calm down. What, 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 is, what is going on? Why is the food not ready? I called you as soon as she called me that she was at the airport. Why is the food not ready? What is going on? You must calm down. As you can see, I'm the only one in the kitchen. We are not two. Oh, I should have married a thousand wives just because I need urgent food. I must... I am preparing two soups. Different soups. Mm. Two different swallows. Just... Uh -oh. Don't just add to my stress, please. I'm 
I am adding to your stress by telling you that my mother is hungry. Your mother-in-law. Is that what you're saying? No, is that what you're saying? I'm almost okay. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I'm almost done with the food. In a few minutes, I'll bring it to the dining. Please. Better. What is this? Your favorite mom. Hey, 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 excuse me. So because it's my favorite, I should eat it at gunpoint? Mom, no one is forcing you to eat it. It's, I mean, I just thought because you've been abroad for a while now, you've been craving for your favorite you meal. You don't assume. You ask. Did you ask me? Okay, mom, it's fine. Can you eat? You're hungry? I'm hungry so I should eat something I have no appetite for. Mom, you are hungry. That's what so I'm saying. So what? Can you just eat I'm them? hungry so what? I'm not eating this. Uh, sorry, Ma. What would you like to eat? Salad. And moi moi. Mom. Um, I, uh... I have been in the kitchen, so I can make a moi moi for you, but I don't have condiments for salad. I'll have to run to the market to get some. So run to the market already. It's okay, just drive to the mall and get it done. She's still here! I'm sorry, ma'am.
I was fine. Oh well, seeing that you're taking all the time in the world, I decided to go into the restaurant to get my mom something to eat. She can't be left starving. Tom, this was what I was trying to explain to you. I knew it was going to take me time to get the salad condiments. I wanted to get some from, from the mall, but you didn't even let me speak. Mm -hmm. Take it back. Mm -hmm. Tom? Take it back. Mm -hmm. She's already eating. Do you want her to have a running stomach or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying it? <laughs> Do you want anything else? Nothing else. For now. Good morning. Morning. I am, um, I want you to take this. Call those your friends that normally come here to look for you. Okay. Share this amongst them, okay? Thank you, madam. But now I'll finish it. They call me finisher. This thing is very small. I'll finish it. I don't need to, I don't need to call anybody. F Philip, Philip, it's a whole lot in there. Call them and share the food amongst them. Madam, if I don't finish it, I will keep it. Let her warm it. But I don't think I will still warm it. I'll warm it. Salad. Salad. Yeah. I don't know, I've been fasting. It, it, it's okay, whatever you I'm wish to do. Hey, well, God bless you. <laughs> hey, God. Okay, I was sleeping and the Lord showed me in the vision that I feel this morning there shall be manners from heaven. Hey, there shall be, there shall be manners. <laughs> Agua, madam, if you eat anything, know that you ate fly. The other day, I was doing bed there. I said, I'm going to give me meat. Can you relax, yeah? But I God bless you. I got the last year. Why are you not sleeping? I don't feel like sleeping. <sighs> Sonia, I am tired. I am seriously tired. I don't know what to do. I, I am broken. Can you please come down and speak to me? What is the problem? What is it? Everything. Everything about my marriage is a problem to me. And if care is not taken, I will go into depression. No, 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 no. Do not mention depression. Just calm down, okay? Can you explain to me what exactly is the problem? So, 
Sonia. Take a good look at me. Do I look like a slave? No. Do I look like a maid? That is the way I am being treated in my own husband's house. From mother and from son. The mother wants me to marry her son the same way she married her husband. It's hurting. I don't even know what to do anymore. How am I supposed to cope? I don't even have time to rest. I don't have a time of my own. It just feels like I'm living my life for them. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I do all the chores in the house. I don't even have time to rest. Oh my God. But you know you can still grab some rest when you're done with the house chores. Did I hear you say rest? How do I rest? My husband doesn't eat stale food. It is from fire to the dining table. How do I rest? Wait a minute. You, you mean you can't cook, put it in the refrigerator, microwave when he wants to eat for him? My husband won't touch it. Eh? He won't even as much as go close to the food. I cook every day of my life, three times in a day. I cook morning, I cook night, I cook no, I cook. It feels like I cook in my dream. I don't know what to do. And now his mother has added to the whole situation. She is a burden to my family. She lives in the house with us. I cook for mother, I cook for son every day of my life. I don't even have time to rest. All I'm asking is, is peace. I'm asking for my freedom. I just, I just want to live like every normal woman in her husband's house. You know, that you shall get, okay? And um, I want you to know that there is no problem without a solution, except death. And in this case, it hasn't gotten to that point yet. So I believe we can still work something out. Okay? I promise you, we don't always try to advise people to go for separation. No. We can actually invite your husband over and talk to him. I believe maybe we can find a solution. Yeah? I'll try as much as possible to speak to your husband. And I hope he will improve. And you mentioned depression. No way. I do not have to pull yourself together. You don't have to get to that breaking point. Getting depressed? No. It's not that serious, darling. Calm down. Can you stop crying? Just Okay? Just calm down. Just Listen, you need to wipe your tears. You see, my mother raised my sister and I without a single maid. So I don't see any reason bringing a maid into my house. I will never do that. Why? Because that would be that would be laziness. It will make her lazy, and I do not want a lazy woman as a wife. Mr. Tom, are you aware that rich families like yours? Hire the service of a chef who cook their food, all their foods. Laundry men who do their laundry. And maids who help out in domestic chores. You are aware? Well, that's their ideology on how to run their homes. But for me, I have a different perspective on these things. Listen, Mr. Tom. Our job here is to fish out those things that bring problems in marriage and try to address it from the root properly. Your wife is complaining. She's no longer a happy woman. I heard you don't eat stale food. You make your wife cook three times in a day and it's the 21st century. Come on, it's not fair. 
You see, Mrs. Marriage Counseling, there is no formula for marriage. So let everyone stick to what works for them. My mother cooked three times more sometimes for my father. So if my wife cannot do the same, then she has no business answering my wife. Mr. Tom. I, I, I believe we are done with this conversation. Mom, the files you gave me last week, I can't find it. You kept them by the shelf. They're still there. You sure? Yes. Same case. Okay. And, and Mom, I wanted to ask a question, yeah? Mm -hmm. When Dad married you, how many maids or house help did you have? Maids? Mm -hmm. We didn't have any. Really? No, we didn't. <laughs> Okay, uh, another question. Uh, is it that you couldn't afford to pay a maid? Or, I don't know, just wanted to ask oh, to be sure. I married your father a rich man. Mm. Your father, mm -hmm. my late husband, bless his soul. Nice. He was the first. The first. The very first to ride a Mercedes Benz. In fact, a Mercedes 200 in the whole of our neighborhood. 200 messages. Yes, yes. In fact, we were the talk of town at that point. Mm. So if we wanted 100 mates, we'll get it. I really wanted to be able to take care of my children, your sister, yourself and your sister, until you became teenagers. Mm. But why do you ask? Oh, nothing really. I just, um, you know, someone somewhere in this house is uh, complaining of doing all the work. Complaining? Yes. Now that technology has evolved, you have washing machines, you have trees extractors, Dry you have cleaner. microwave and all that. Somebody's complaining. Complaining. <laughs> Who is, by the way? Well, you just that never thing mind. you call the wife, I'm sure. <laughs> I warned you. I warned you. She's complaining. That butter where she came from, do they as much as have electricity? I think they use the system over there. They use Guinea. She oh. doesn't even know what that is. I warned you. Um, Mom, let me just um, get the file. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, look what you've gotten yourself into. Mom, I can hear you. I, of course I want you to hear. No answer my question. What is this? Okay, fine. I had a hectic day today in my office. Too many couples to attend to. A lot of issues, you know. Like, I know I wasn't going to be able to enter the kitchen when I get back. So, I rushed to a nearby restaurant and got, and got us this for dinner. I'm exhausted, please. Sonia, can you hear yourself? Can you... Can you, can you listen to yourself talk? A married woman. You even call yourself a marriage counselor. So tell me, what counsel do you give to the young girls that come to your office for advice? How to be lazy and shy away from their marital responsibilities, right? Oh my God, you are so unbelievable. Like, I 
I can't believe after I explain all this to you, you're still raising your voice. Like, why are you raising your voice right now? What's the meaning of that? Why are you raising your voice at me right now? What do you mean by why am I raising my voice? That my wife will sit in her office from morning till evening. She cannot cook food for me. She cannot prepare food for her own husband. No, tell me. Instead, you prefer ravishing my money on food I don't even know how or where they prepared it. It's a shame, Sonia. It's a big slap on your face that you can't cook food for your own husband. I don't want you to get this clear tonight. I will never eat any food you bought from outside again, starting from tonight. To me, Fabian, you have no right, no stupid right to tell me that I must always cook for you. No fucking way I will always cook for you. Alright? Sonia, you are my wife. I married you 100 percent According to the tradition where I come from, women cook for their husbands. So it's your duty to cook for me in this house. And how daft can you be? No, listen to yourself. Fabian, hear yourself. You dare talk to me about tradition in this modern time? Like, who does that anyway? What stupid tradition are you talking about? Now I'm asking you! It's, it, it's my originality. I, I, I can't change it. Yes, I can't change it. It's my originality. Okay. I put it to you then. Now in those days you were referring to, men also cook for their wives. Oh yes! Same way women contribute to the upkeep of the family. Financially, it's a two-way thing. 50-50. You do yours, I do mine. Alright? So don't talk to me about cooking in this house. Oh, I see. You can also cook. I see. Now you're talking. So you want me, your husband, to enter the kitchen and cook for you because you also contribute to the financial upkeep of this marriage. So make it make sense. Where did I go wrong? No. Correct me if I am wrong. Sonia, as long as I remain the head of this family, I will never try such. And I put it to you right now. I announce it before your face that moving forward, you are to eat food but from restaurants outside. Because I, I, Sonia, will never enter this kitchen again to cook for you. I will not. I cannot come and kill myself. I will not eat any food you bought from outside again. You better deal with it. I won't it. try it, Sonia. You will eat it. Sonia, it's your duty. And it's your job to cook for me in this house. That's and you so must. Serious. I married you. No Come way. Away. Sleeping. Why are you not sleeping? Why are you not sleeping? Why are you not sleeping? That won't concern you. If you like, sleep. If you like, don't sleep. Um, uh, I want to do. I want to do. I slumber. Cap me maybe. I don't understand. I want to do. I want to do. Like who they swear for. I want to do. Get it in the do. Nothing more. Every day I want to do. I will go no. I don't that are you the spell? What is this? Leave me alone. Have my cow. Joy, what else do you expect me to tell you? I married you because of all these things now. Eh? I married you because of all these things. Big open legs now. Nah, now nah, let me do this thing now. Eh? Let me do now. Let me do. Uncle, from now henceforth, there is strike in this house. Sex strike. No sex for you until you learn how to be romantic. Now, nah, bro, And who commissioned that? 
We are on sex strike. You're on sex strike? Yes. Who commissioned it? I'm just telling my own. You have to go and learn how to be romantic. And I'm pro gone. Let's be romantic. I'm your wife. Let's to cut to let be romantic. That's my point. It's not romantic. No, Joy, Joy, when I came to your people, eh? When I came to your people, did you give me all these conditions? So why are you not giving me all these conditions now? Eh? Uh, uh, anyway, um that is a topic of another day, okay? Um Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Leave me alone, no. don't touch me again. Don't touch me. Stop now. Why are you raising your voice? Say give him something. Huh? Where are you going to? Give me what? Okay, sir. Yeah, joy. Joy, what is it now? What? Eh? Joy, why are you running now? Give me now, also. Come, what's up, I've been now, also. A slumber. Who is pursuing you? Leave me alone. Don't even come close to me. Just, no, I bound. Don't come close to me. Wait, oh, Joy. What I paid for? What I paid for? I, I paid completely. What I paid for? As commodity. Wait. Were you not there when your people collected almost 1.5 million naira from me in the name of marriage list? I was not there. Okay, if one way go no, or you go near water pipe, one way. No, or you go when that water pipe is denied, you have the money now, big plumber. Eh, 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 em, em, a joy, I'm going to have it. Get on you. Skip! Hey, hey, hey! So, uh, what is it? Which guy trim? What, uh, get, get, what is this now? Huh? Eh? to know that things have changed. We are no longer living in a primitive world. This is a chat age for crying out loud. Yes, the world has changed. As a matter of fact, changed for good. So a lot of things are more easier now than it was then. So you have no reason to complain. You should also know that I am not your maid. I am not your house help. I am not a slave. I am your wife. Except you don't want me here anymore. Well, what is that supposed to mean? I need a maid. And a chef as well. Since you and your mother would not have stale food, there should be someone in the kitchen making your meals and receiving salary at the end of the day while I concentrate on other family issues. You lie. So long as my mother raised my sister and I without a maid in this house, you will not raise my kids was without your any cooking? maid or help in this house. Tom, your mother was not cooking morning, day, night, every day on daily basis, was she? Tom, I am tired. Yeah. I'm broken, I don't even know what to do. I am tired. I would rather go back to my father's house than stay here and be treated this way. Oh, that's fine then. Prepare to go back to your poverty-stricken father's house. 
Mind coming? Sure, I wouldn't mind. All right, let's go in your car. Let's go. After you. As for my mom, my friend, Fabian, he is a bosom friend of mine and colleague. Mm, I see. Please sit down. Thank Please you. sit down. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you came for lunch? As usual. Unfortunately, it's not ready. It's not ready? Why? Oh, just a moment. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so how's work? Fine, ma'am. Can I get you some water? No, I'm fine. Do you want a drink? No, I'm okay. You don't want anything? Yes. Okay. Thank That's you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> right? I'm enjoying myself. Yes. I swear. And now, I know why you come back every day to eat. <laughs> now, I also know the reason you don't eat outside. That's what it's um, Your wife is a very fantastic cook. Mm hmm. You could say that. Now, besides my mother, she's about the best cook. Obviously. And you know what? Any food you see me eat, straight from the fire to the table, Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean your wife cooks three times every day? Not exactly. She cooks not just three times, but as many times as I want her to cook. And I don't eat any stale food, no refrigerated food, no preserved or warmer, nothing. All cooked and served. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Wife is such a great cook. Oh well, my mother is a great cook, so that I wouldn't have ended up with a woman who doesn't know how to cook as a wife. Wait, but do you mean what you said about your wife cooking three times in a day? Oh, well, yes. My wife doesn't work. As a matter of fact, I stopped her from working. So that she can take care of the house properly. So I don't see any reason she would not cook as many times as I want her to and do other things. If you understand what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, you're such a lucky man. You're blessed. Oh well. I wouldn't see that I wouldn't see that as luck. 
You see, I am the man of this house. I provide everything needed here. You understand me? So, any woman who doesn't do my bidding, I don't see what she will be doing in my house. Yes. I wish to be like you. <laughs> Get into the car, let's go back to work. <laughs> You're already doing good, but then as you make your bed... job of yours is causing your responsibilities at home, your marital obligations, then I will be left with no other choice than to stop you from working. Hmm? I'm sure you heard me right. You say? What did I just you say? You heard me say clearly. That? Really? My dear, you have no such rights. Listen to me. Before you married me, I made it clear to you from the get-go that my job is my life dream. I mean, my passion. And under no circumstances will I ever quit the job. So, you listen to me? You quit tripping. Okay? Yes! Did you tell me it was going to stop you from doing your job as a woman? What? Now, listen to me and listen good. I am the head of this family. And my words shall be obeyed to the last. What is that wife duty that I'm supposed to do? As a wife? You're supposed to cook for your husband. Oh. Your husband's stomach should be the first thing ever. I see. In that case, I will employ a cook. Where? In my house? Of course, in this house. He wants food. I am going to employ a cook because I am sick and tired of going over this over and over again with you. If you are not tired, I am exhausted. And who will be taking care of his or her I salary? I will take care of his salary. Oh, that's it. That's just the point. Because you make money yourself. You no longer see yourself as a woman who should be under a man. Let me tell you, you are not employing any cook that will be cooking my meals. My wife will be cooking my food. You will be the one preparing my food. And I want that to sink in your head. Let it sink. Fabian, what in the world is the color of your problems, if I may ask? Wait a minute. You, you're trying to take me back to your father's days? When women were subjected to different inhumanity. Hell no! We are in a different world right now where women employ the help of a chef or cook to be helping out in their husband's houses. Okay? So you better wake up to realities or you remain in the olden days. Sonia, it's obvious you don't know anything about marriage. You don't know your duty as a wife. A cook or no food. Nobody's cooking for me. Okay. Nobody. Yes, I married you with my money. I, I, I married you and you must cook for me in this house. Get ready to starve then. Get ready to starve. Also, I will pay you a proper visit. I promise you. Sonia. Yes. Sonia. Yes. Why didn't you tell me you were coming back home with someone? Because I didn't plan on coming back home anyway. I was just uh, in the car back about entering that, that car and he opted to come with me. I couldn't say no. That's it. Wait, I should have said no because I didn't tell my wife? Tom, it called to me while you were driving back home would have made a difference. <sighs> For goodness sake, I am your wife. I am not your maid. You need to realize that. Why are you always trying to make trouble? Why are you making a mountain out of a molehill? What, what did I do wrong? Tom, I deserve some respect. I mean, what 
what would it cost you? Hello, baby. I am coming back home with a friend and we're coming back home for lunch. Why wouldn't you make that kind of call? Of course, no, you wouldn't do it. Because you don't regard me as your wife. Oh, wow. Really? I, Tom, I was expecting you to say sorry. Baby, I am sorry, not now. Wow. But of course you married me with your hard earned money. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to excuse yourself from your wifely duty to me tonight. That's what you're trying to do. But it's fine. Tomorrow is another day. And by tomorrow, trust me, you won't have any excuse. Well, I am going to make this clear to you. Mm. We are not just talking about tonight. I am talking about tomorrow, the day after, weeks to come, and even months to come. Wait, wait, what, what, what did you say about Tom, 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 next Tom, tomorrow? Tom, please. You know, from the look of things, from the way I see that guy. Sincerely, I do not think that I will marry the man. Like, I'm not seeing the possibility. Sincerely, I'm not. What do you mean by that? Huh? This guy is loco. This guy is ras. This guy is... I can't even quantify him. This guy is just... Huh, I don't know. I cannot marry him. It's not possible. Don't worry. He will change. Who will change? Trust me. He will. No, he will not change. Um, again, I cannot even say, baby, sweetheart, my world, my treasure, my heart, you know, it's always, be a joy, be a here. Joy, be a here. Joy, be a here. Like, like a cuckoo. You know, it's, it's so, it's so, it's so annoying. I can't, ah, Pico, stop. Jo stop laughing now. It's not funny. I'm not joking now. It's not funny. Oh my God. You know, the worst, the worst is, look, for instance now, he wants to make love, right? He wants to have sex. Normally, you, you try from the introduction, you know, from one to three, four. He gets from one to ten. You know, it can't even hold me. Cuddle me, make me feel like a woman, make me feel like I want him my you know, make me wet. Don't Abed. worry, my dear. He will change. He will not change and you know it. Trust me on this. I will not trust you. I won't trust you. And as it stands now, I do not think I will marry that guy. Like, it's not possible. I cannot marry him. No, 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 babe. You don't have to do that. That guy is a prayer answered to your family. Your family has always known the life of penury and abject poverty. I think God sent that man to help your family from all this poverty. Thing. There's something you don't understand about life. You see, life is not about money. Like everything is about money. Most times your happiness is paramount. Seriously, money is not everything. Trust me, you will not regret it. Marry this guy. You will not regret you it. You know that that is not true. You are just trying to persuade me and it's not even funny. It's not funny. I know what I'm saying. You will not regret it. Please, marry this guy. I saw this on time. I noticed this and I wanted to run for my dear life. But Oma gave me false hopes that he would change after our marriage. Two years down the line, he is getting worse. 
I am not going to continue like this. Heaven knows. I won't. This is not my ideal marriage. Oma, you brought me into all this. Now you are enjoying your marriage while I'm here suffering. God knows I can't. No, I cannot. It's either it changes now or I quit this whole thing. I can't. I can't. Please, just stop. Please. People, I want to stop, but this, this, this guy is not resting. Hmm? Just, just the, the tip. Hmm? The, the, just the tip. Tom, mm -hmm. stop. Please. You can't tell me. Tom, Tom hmm? take you and your tip to the other side of the bed. Please. No, to move just okay, just Tom. Okay, now just remove. Now just no, no, please don't, don't go. Mm. Don't go now. Please let me be over. Mm.
baby. Babe. Babe. Stand up, let's go inside. Let's go to the room. I want to sleep here, please. What do you mean by you want to sleep here? Let's go inside. Oh my god. This is not a bed. Can you can you just allow me? I know. I just want to sleep here. Please. You're only running away from your wifely duties, and you know that. You should be on your mattress in a bed, not on the cushion in the living room where it's meant to entertain visitors alone. Oh my god. I just can't get a break from you. <sighs> Listen, I hate that I'm having to explain myself because I really do not want to. You said it already. Yes, I am running away from you. I am because I am not in the mood. You get it right now, right? Okay, can I be allowed to sleep? Hmm? Shoot yourself. Don't blame me. After a hectic day in the office, you still want me to come and do what with you. As what? Go back. Find your levels. Madam, how may we help you? Um, I, I heard you are a marriage counselor. And that you you five marriages that are about to break. That's correct. Okay. Um like I I was almost considering a divorce with the animal I call my husband. You know, he's just so annoying. He's so local. I don't want to end it all with that animal I call a husband. But when I was told about you, I said, okay, let me come give your magic a try. Okay. My husband is so unromantic. Like he's so annoying. He cannot even call me by a pet name. You know, like baby Susan. Even in public, he calls me by my name. Try be here. Try be here. You know, with his harsh and coarse voice. He's so annoying. You don't want to know. Uh, is that all? No, that's not all. He's so romantic. He doesn't know how to kiss a woman. You know, make you want him. How to even make your woman wet? No, he doesn't. Once he, he has he wants to have sex, we just want to go in and come down. Just like that. He, he, he can romance me. Make me feel him. You know. He's so he, he's so crazy. I don't know how. In fact, I am tired of him. But I actually hope and pray you can actually work for me and let my marriage come back to a very sweet thing. Please. I'm so sorry to hear about all that, madam. Thank you. Trust me, I want you to know that there is no problem without a solution. Oh, okay. I've heard everything you said about you. What's my love being romantic and, you know, yeah. But I want you to know that you can still be amended. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. You can still correct it. Thank God. It is not the end of your marriage. <sighs> okay. God. So what we do is we have to invite your husband over and and proceed with our, with our talk section. Wow. Thank God. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Sincerely, I can't. All right, then. I will need you to help us with this. Contact. Okay. This number here. Okay. Yeah. We invite him over for... Let's see what we can do, okay? Yes. Well, you must know that this is a different package from the one you already subscribed for. Of course, money is not an issue. I, I, I don't mind to pay anything to get my man back, to, to have him change for good. Thank you. He will change. Just drop his number. Okay? Thank you. Don't worry. Sir. Thank you. Just drop his number here. Babe, how did it go? <sighs> she... She said she would have a talk section with him. And then after that, he would change. Wow. I told you that there are experts on that. I told you. 
Oh. I sincerely pray so. Please. I don't want you to see it as if I, I, I misled you. I, I was only trying to help. See, now, you now drive your own car. Live in a good apartment. And your parents, living in a good apartment too. That is what I was seeing when I was insisting you marry that man. Please. I never knew it would turn out this way. The, 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 the bottom line is that I pray. In fact, I'm hopeful that it changes. But if after everything, he does not change from me to you, Sincerely, I will take a walk out of this marriage. Like, I would not turn back. He will change. Yeah? He will change. God will do it for us. God will do it for us. He will change. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Should I give it a break? Should I fight it out? Who is this? Tell me who you are first. Oh, okay. On marriage? Okay, I should come to your office tomorrow morning. It's alright. So, but what exactly am I coming to do? It's alright, it's alright. Okay, I'll be there. Yeah, thank you. Oh my God, please help me out. Baby, show me some love. Show me some love, baby, more. Show me some love. I need your attention. I'm not asking too much. Show me some love. I need your papa. <clears throat> ah, no, welcome. Uh, Bia Joy, did you give anybody my number? I don't understand. Someone called me and uh, she was telling me I should come to the office tomorrow morning that she's a marriage counselor. Okay, maybe you should go and know why she's calling you. Maybe I should go and know why she's calling me. Mm. And how did she get my number? If you get it tomorrow, you will know how she got your number. I, mean, I don't know. What did you cook? Spaghetti. Spaghetti ne Which one is spaghetti again? Mbrelcha road in the mafia. You expect me to eat spaghetti? New mon no no neri. Baby, I garnish it well. You. Ena garnish again ne? Nse gina mto garnishing. Go to the kitchen and make swallow for me. Na balia. Uh uh. Ototoa. Swallow. 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 Come and push me. Carry me home and go for it. So I think you don't have a choice. My wife is here. Joy came to this place and I was asking her last night. She was pretending as if she doesn't know what I was talking about. Mr. Ogolo, 
I want you to know that your wife loves you very much. So much. And she knows that you love her too. All she's asking for is a little romance. She wants it to be romantic a little. You know, pet her, call her pet names. You know, pamper her like, you know, we women, we love pampering a lot. It's just the way a mother pampers a newborn baby. Every woman wants and craves for pampering, that kind of pampering. That's what your wife is asking for. Stop embarrassing her publicly. Even if you need to correct her, you do that with love. That's all. Okay? <clears throat> so this is why I was called to this place. Hmm? Hmm. You don't like what I'm saying. Why would I like what you're saying? Eh? Okay, fine. I want to ask you one question. Go ahead. Are you married? Hmm? I am. I, I didn't say you should show me your ring. I'll do ganju. You're married, eh? Very well married. Okay, fine. How romantic is your husband? On a water pipe of ma? Hmm? Yes. That's my personal life. Oh, that's your personal life, eh? So the one you are discussing now, is it not my personal life? Your wife walked into this establishment, I mean, into this office, to report this case to us. And by so doing, it automatically makes it our business. It's no longer your private life alone. Why do people like living fake lives? Excuse me? Yes. So you want me to be coming here to take lectures on how to be romantic? Romantic on the take on account. Huh? You want me to be coming here to, to, to be lectured on how to be romantic? When your husband is not even romantic? Thank you. Adon, excuse me, you have no right whatsoever to talk about my husband in that manner, okay? You don't know him, you don't know us. Says who? Let me tell you. I don't need to know your husband to know that as I'm looking at you now, that you had a fight with him before coming to this office. Yes! Stop deceiving yourself. Teach women how to respect us. Teach women how to be submissive to us. That is what we ask for. Let me tell you. I will continue shouting on her until she learns how to respect me as the husband. Let her treat me as a king I am. Then I will not reciprocate. I am out of here. And if you know what is good for you, teach them to respect us as the husband. Excuse me. Joy, you reported me to that attack on Maka. Okay, unless, unless you're not coming back to the house. Anywhere you like, you should hide. Unless you're not coming back to the house. go you don't give that man the respect he deserves as your husband I, I don't understand did he complain to you that I do not respect him mm -hmm. but how how would I respect a man that doesn't treat me right how that's not possible be the change you want the change you desire started first. Treat him as he should. Accord him the respect he deserves as your husband. And watch that man be the man you desperately want him to be.
Joy, Joy, how did it go? What? Can you imagine? My husband said, I do not respect him. He was complaining to the lady that I don't respect him. Huh? Then she now said, eh, that the change I want to see, she sparked from me. That I should start respecting him and then I will see that things will change. Like I don't understand. No. Maybe that's the magic that will bring the change you desire in him. You are the woman here. Maybe you should change first. I don't understand. Like, 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 like I'm so confused. How do I change first? What are you even saying? A man that does not respect me, a man that talks to me carelessly and rudely, how? How should I respect such a man? How? Like, how? Does it make sense to you? I am sorry. I'm only trying to be of help. Oma, because... I understand and I appreciate your help. But please, what, what are you saying? Listen to me. I'm a girl that is well trained. As Oma Do you understand? I am well trained. I'm well mannered. I have respect. People I see on the streets, anywhere, anybody I see, I respect them. They, how, why would I respect my husband in the house? Why? A man that married me, I would respect him. But my darling, you know that it's not my fault. That man is the cause of everything. He needs to change first. When he begins to respect me and talk to me like his wife, you will see that everything will be okay. Not me, because my mother will tell me that. Nah, no, 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 You don't know. You want us to die, I understand you, but you see, just like the marriage counselor advised, some men are like that. They wouldn't want to change until they see you change first. Just in your own case now. You've been married to him for many years now. And he didn't change. Nim, why don't we change towards him first and see if he will reciprocate the change? Oh, one one, you won't know. Eh? Yeah. Pico. No matter Castello. Ozuko. Because you know it's, it's going to be very hard. Okay, this is seriously extremely hard. Because that kind of person, I will try, but I'll go ahead. It will be hard. It will be hard. Just try. Just try now. Let me open the car. I don't understand. What's all this? Eh? Why would you do that? What's all this? What's wrong with you? Joy, I'm asking you. How can you be this stupid and senseless? Eh? At your age. You still behave as evening with no sense. How can you report me, your husband, to another woman who is probably having issues with her husband? Eh? Why will you do that? Sweetheart, she is a marriage counselor. She's an expert in such issues, marriage issues. You know, so I, I just feel you keep going for her talking classes and then you'll you see that you will change. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I want to have good idea. Are you alright? Wait, I should I should go there and, and be listening to the rubbish that she be telling me. Eh? Me? I'm gonna go go there and be listening to the rubbish that that small girl be telling me. Someone that is probably having issues with her husband. I should be going there to be listening to her. So it has, how how do you even know that she has issues with, with her husband? I should know. Yes, because there's no perfect marriage in this world. There is no perfect marriage in this world. People cover the loopholes in their marriage, but stupid ones like you wash their dirty linens outside. Yes! You tell the whole world how you live in your family. Huh? You know that like, your, your sense is now coming up. Like you're having too many sense, like, sense now. Good. Your, your sense is now getting bigger. You know? You, you, you've been insulting me, Cecil. You've been abusing me since I've been keeping quiet. Can make a good wife, as they said. They just come, come down. Can you? In a cool Elizabeth. No, 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 no. I am used to your insult now. You can go ahead and insult me. Insult me. Why I am used to it. Why would I insult you? Why would I insult you? You try to change me. Yes, you can change me. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. You're not yala. Yes, you're a monkey. 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 Yes, you can see. You're so good. Yes! Okay. Uh, wait, you won't kill You won't fight, Abby. Kill me. Okay, 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 be careful. Be careful, no. Me. Yes, be careful. Me. Be careful. Yes, you can see. Don't worry. Ah, you're not going to kill me. 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 You're not going What kind of man?
marriage is this? What kind of a mistake of a man did I end up with? Other couple goes to see the marriage counselor and change for good. At least I decided to start giving him the respect he complained about. But no, he would not change. He had to push me to the wall with his abusive words till I had no option than to retaliate. Is this how I am going to stay? God forbid. Instead of living in hell in the name of marriage, I better stay single. God knows I cannot continue like this. Never. Yes, I will just die of depression. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? Hey! Baby, do you know I even said okay, maybe it's my fault somehow. Let me just try and change the narratives, okay? I was being so nice, you know, he got back from work. I said, baby, welcome. How was your day? Like I missed you. I was just being so romantic and all sweet and all loved up. My sister, the guy changed her for me. He changed her for me as in ASAP. And he was just shouting down the whole building like a madman, like a mad dog. Can you imagine? Hey. What nonsense. Hey. Hmm. Hey. 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 And I said, okay, honey, calm down. I'm sorry, I'll give me a way when now. Oh no, I shall not vibrate. You know, change anything. Yeah, I change it for him. Esa, he was like, eh? I give him as the heart in his own coin. I change it for him. He, he, he was so confused. Yes, so because what you call? Who the hell are you? Like, what are you? Who, who help? Hey, what you rubbish? That your husband is a devil. A queen super. Oh yeah, that one. Oh, the hey. worst than devil. Worst that. What's this than devil? He's a hey. Lucifer. He's a wicked human being. Oh, but It's an abomination. Oh, you are. Biko, did he say he was not going to go for the talking section with the marriage counselor again? Eh? If we go near now, see your friend now. Hey. No, look at pity me now. All my money gone. Like all the money I paid for that thing wasted and gone. Look at me, a good wife trying to make our marriage work. That's no sense, human being. Refused, bluntly. But it's fine. No problem. What the ma? So what do you know? Hey. Mm. Mm. I think the best thing to do now is to take him in, take him to God in prayers. Eh? Can you imagine him again? No, he mega no can. That's the only thing, though. That's the only. Because 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 I knew here. I said no again. Take who to who to 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 what in prayers? Okongoro. Is he crippled? I don't understand. Me, pray for who? Pray for who? It's also only possible. I cannot even try it. Oh yeah, pray for who? Relax. Relax. Mind yourself, oh. Mind Relax. yourself. Mind yourself, please. Just mind yourself. Before one go, all this your advice, relax, it will change. It's enough. I've had enough. Like up to here, I don't change anymore. I put this on relax. Just, just happier yeah? because you, 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 you haven't getting me peace. How about this? The, 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 the thing now is. I will just keep sleeping in that house. Ne keta, I will manage it. But the day I will just wake up or do me say, bam! Me say, oh God, this is the this, this is the end of the road. Oh God, or some eh? Today, or end go, I will just take a walk because I cannot even deal. Like I'm going so crazy, I can't deal. What is this? So, yeah. I was telling Lake of how we we'll took your wife and he was doubting me. I said, I must come to witness to this great testimony. 
That was too much. <laughs> listen, I'm telling you. Listen, Nick. Nick, I am not hyping anymore. I'm only telling you the obvious truth. Okay. It's fine. Um, it's almost lunch time. Why don't you tell me what you would like to have? So I can call her and then we can all go for lunch together. How about that? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Are you not stressing that young lady? Stress? Why did I marry her in the first place? Okay. okay. I think I'm well with the who says you guys stayed the last time. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll join the bandwagon and um, have a busy super pounded yam too. <laughs> Let me uh, order. Hi, baby. Yes, a uh, change of plans. Uh, I would like to have a uh, baby sister and founded yam. I will come in with two of my friends. Samos, I am already preparing the rice. Stop it then. So I, I don't even have ingredients to make a goose soup. The market is just a few minutes drive, so go get it. Yeah. This is just 11.30 and we'll be coming by 12.30. That means you have one hour. Okay? So, uh, you have yourself a greasy and pounded yam. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. That's just it. I mean, well, well, how hard can it be to eat a good homemade meal for lunch? That's what I do every day. Confirm it. <laughs> <laughs> you will see and taste by yourself. <laughs> yes. Confirm it. <laughs> Which you have to smile. Just is this how love we treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love what we treat me? Um Thomas called. He said his friends are coming over for lunch. And they requested for um, pounded yam and egusi soup. I don't have enough ingredients at home. I need to rush off to the market to get some. So go and get some. Okay, ma. Uh, would you be needing anything I from them? I don't need anything. Just go. Make sure you come back on time because he says he's coming with his friends. Go, go, go. Mm. Sorry. I'm dying in silence. I'm dying in silence. I thought they say that marriage is a beautiful thing, but mine is different. But mine is different. Oh my God, please help me. Oh. Baby, show me some love. Show me some love, baby. Show me some love. I need your attention. Just not asking too much. Show me some love. I need your papa. I need to traffic. Show me some love. I'm not asking for much. Show me some love. What's this one thing? God do me my love. I'm not asking for much. Show me some love. What else can I do? Someone tell me now. I am sick and tired of this situation. The more I try, the worse it becomes. 
If I had known, I wouldn't have got my say in this. What a good in this with good heart. But my race has turned her to a slave, a slave. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain, I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? It is going on too deep, it's going on. I'm in pain, I was away. How much, ma? Ten thousand naira. Should I add it? Yes, please. I'll just try to make it snappy a bit. Okay, I'm in haste. Just try it again. Oh. It's still declined. Let me see. I just use this card. At They've debited me twice. Uh, it's network. Saying, which one is network? It's remo- bank network. But they've removed the money from my account now. They debited me twice. Look at it here. It's declined. You're showing me what do you want me to do with this? Please just look for a way to give me back my money. Madam, it's your bank network. Which one is my bank? I'm telling you that they debited me twice. You're telling this me twice. It's declined, ma'am. Ha! Madam, Biko, I beg. I don't have strength. I don't even have the time for this. I'm in a haste. Kindly look for a way and give me back my money. Check your receipts now. This thing is declined. So what do you want me to do? It's not my fault. Too. Whose fault is it? Mine? Madam, Biko, I don't want issues. I don't even have strength for, for problems right now. Just look for a way and give me back my money so that I can go. You're telling me it's not your fault. Whose fault is it? Mine? It's bank network. It's Madam, bank give network. me my money. I'm not seeing bank network. Let me have my money back. You will not stop writing. Good afternoon. My friends. I can see you. Good afternoon, my dears. Please sit down. Thank you. Um, Where is my wife? I didn't uh, perceive any aroma while coming in. That's because she hasn't cooked anything. She left this house since morning. Said she was going to get some stuff from the market. Uh-huh. You said you have been debated, are you sure? Do I look like I don't know what I am saying? Look at it now. Look at, look at it. Please, is this is not a debit alert. Twice for that matter. You mean she's not back from the market since? As you can see. Which market is she? She's not taking my call. She's not taking your she... call. <laughs> Biko, just hey. give me back my money. I don't it's want true. issues. It's true. I've seen the debit alert. Thank you. What? She just rejected my call. But madam, I think the, the, the problem is from your bank. your bank. Oh. It's network. Oh. It's from your bank, but don't worry. They will revise it. Mom, is something wrong with... Let, let's wait a while. Maybe she could be busy. Yeah. If you don't reverse it, what do I, who do I collect my money from? Abba. Then you, you report to your bank. Ha! 
Yeah, you go to your bank. But believe me, before 48 hours, they will, they will revise it. Believe me. No, one no major about your customer. Ah, she was just even shouting. She could not even explain. You will tell you your problem. What exactly is wrong with her that she, she will reject my call? I'm supposed to answer that question. Please, I'm still begging you. Let me do transfer for you. Madam, I don't like transfer. In this network issue, I don't like it. I prefer cash. Oh, God, please. I'm having a bad day already. And the weather is gradually changing. Please. Don't worry, you'll get the alert. I promise. Uh, okay, just do the transfer. If I see the alert, I will give you the free stuff. Okay, let me show it. I'm sure you'll get it before I leave. Okay, call your aunt's number. Um, I don't have it off hand. Let me. Let me get it. Eh? Okay. Five, six. This is, this is, this is absolutely nonsense. not taking my calls and she's not returning them now it is raining i don't know where where she has gone no this is not her what is this uh Tom, you have to calm down first and keep calling her number what, what do you mean keep calling her she didn't take my calls she rejected them and you said i should call her again for what it's your wife we are talking about here she could be in any kind of danger now it's raining Calling her till she picks your call. Five missed calls again, and she didn't take anyone. None of them. She hasn't taken None. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that you're experiencing this for yourself. Next time when I give you an advice as your mother, you'll take it. Going to get a wife from the snob. Tom, you have to calm down. Just calm down. I believe she will still come back soon. Calm, calm down.
Thomas, you need to calm down. Mom, she is not taking my call. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ma. You have to. It was, it was really heavy in the upside down. And, and I had a flat tire as well, so I just. What is this? I'm... <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Why are you making such a mess here? You're just an idiot. You hear me? What is all this? Where are you coming from? <laughs> Will you answer me before I smack the hell out of you? Where are you coming from? Easy, man. Easy. Take it easy on her. Take it easy. No, no, no. Why would I be calling her and she's not taking my call? Come. It's okay. Your mom already slapped her. It's, uh, it's, it's alright. Calm down, please. Easy, 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 Take it easy, man. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, for all this embarrassment. <laughs> Let us go to a restaurant for <laughs> And she's still standing there. She's still standing there. No. This place look, looks, looks like your father's match for See the mess you're making in my house. <laughs> Let's go, just go all close. You better come, come, bring mob and bucket and come and start cleaning up this place. After our youth service, I'll be traveling to Europe for my second degree and my master's program. So, what becomes of me? What becomes of the promises and love you'll be giving to me? Come on, babe. I still love you till tomorrow. I'm not going to die there. I'll still come back for you, okay? How can you tell me you'll come back for me when there are other beautiful girls over there who are even more beautiful than I am? Come on, babe, you should understand these things. I didn't fall in love with you because of your beauty. You should understand that it's more of the internal beauty than the external. There's a quality I see in you that tells me you'll make a good wife. That's much reason why I'm in love with you. It's not because of your facial beauty. Okay? I got you, babe. So do you mean you're not going to see all those qualities from other girls over there. <sighs> Come on, babe. These qualities are real. Come on, you should understand that you are one of a kind. Hmm. I'm finding it difficult to believe. To believe you. Once you travel, that will be the end of us. Come on, babe. Why are you sounding like this? <sighs> See, I like telling myself the truth. What truth are you talking about? How can you go through the stress of coming down to Nigeria again to pick up a wife with you to abroad when there are other beautiful girls who live over there? Wait, babe. Are you saying I'll be living in London after my marriage? Are you intending coming back? Your mother and your siblings live over there. Come on now, babe. Yes, my siblings and my mom, they live over there, but you know my, my late father have a business running here in Nigeria and someone needs to stay back to manage it and other properties. Believe me when I say I'm going to come back to this country to get you. I'll come and get you and we'll get married, okay? Gerald, it's okay. Thank you. 
Hi, love. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. This one, you are all by yourself. What's up? Other coppers are playing outside the lodge. If by now you've not known me to be a private person, that means your character learning skills are weak. Come on, babe. I know you are a private person. I know that. But you should go out and, you know, socialize with friends. I do when I feel like. Huh? Okay, that's cool. Um, that's not why I came. So, why are you here? My mother is in the country. Wow! Wow, wow! That's really nice! Wow, that's good! Yeah. I'm actually traveling to Benin this weekend and I want you to accompany me. Is that necessary? Come on now, baby, it is. You know, I've been telling my mom about you over the phone and she wants to meet with you. <laughs> You're talking as if we're getting married in the next six months, one year, or even two years. You still have your master's and your second degree program to run abroad. There you go again, babe. <sighs> See, the thing is, I want to show you that it's you or no one else. You know, my family, I've actually told them much about you and they are waiting to see this special person. Okay. I'll think about it. I'll give you my reply tomorrow. That's cool. I'll wait for your reply then. Okay? Okay. Alright. I'll catch up with something else now. See you later, okay? Alright, take care. <laughs> Alright, bye. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. Lucy, not that Thomas has proposed to me. We're only making plans to a future that is not even close. A future that we don't even know if it will come true. You don't love him? I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> so there is absolutely nothing wrong in going to see his mom. Lucy, the problem here is that this guy will leave this country immediately after our youth service program and travel for his master's and second degree program. Is it not still enough to believe that he's not coming back for me? Why not give him the benefit of doubt? He might still come back for you according to his words. What if I keep rejecting other suitors? And he finally disappoints me. See, this thing is very simple. If he travels and continue calling you, sending you money, sending you gifts, you really don't need to look in another man's way, okay? Until he stops oiling the wheels of love, then you can know if he really wants to marry you or not. From there, you can really make the right decisions. Really? That's right. Two good heads are better than one. I so much appreciate you. This means a whole lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> You've not said anything as regards what we discussed yesterday. Okay. Don't worry. I'll go with you. Are you being serious? I'm not joking. I'll go with you to Benin to see your mom. Thank you, babe. You are the best. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> you know, um, you are the best thing that, that has ever happened to me. That, that's not a problem. Yes. Okay, you know what you're going to do? You will come back and... Can I call you back in a minute? Hey, Hello. Mom. Hi. 
Very fine, mommy. Come in. Mom, meet my beautiful girlfriend, Margaret, the girl I've been telling you about. Margaret, Good evening, Mark. my beautiful mom. Yeah. Good evening, Mark. Where are you from? I, I'm from Imo State, man. I'm Imo's daughter, are you? My father is late and my mom is Who was your father before this? My father was a village carpenter. Excuse you? Yes, ma'am. He was a village carpenter. Tom. Yes, mommy. This is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with? Yes, mom. Isn't she beautiful? The daughter of a village carpenter. Come on, Doctor. We, we have friends in high places. Yes, I know that. We have, we have friends. We're friends with senators, ministers, business muggles. Their daughters are not good enough for you. Mom. You want Margaret. to rob the name of your father in the mud? <laughs> by marrying this <laughs> Margaret. Mommy, stop! Stop! Baby, stop be stop. silly! Come back here! Baby. Is this boy high or something? You come back and meet me here. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> baby, baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. <laughs> I didn't want to come here. I did it. But you forced me into this. Now see. I'm sorry about everything, baby. <laughs> To be honest, I've done what is expected of me. I've shown her the woman I want to get married to. She can't stop me from marrying you. You know I love you so much. Please, let's go back inside. Please. I'm not spending a night in this house. I am not. Babe, please. You can't go back to Auguste by this time. Come on, babe, please. Let's go back inside. Take me to a hotel. Babe, I can't take you to any hotel. This is my late father's house. And by right of inheritance, I am the first son of this house. This is my house. Come on, I can't have something like this in this city and still take you to a hotel. Please, let's go back inside. Please. <laughs> Please. Where are you taking that thing? Let's go. I got you. Thomas, where are you taking this thing? Stop. Thomas, I, you're actually entering my house. Thomas, Thomas, I'm here. You need to see how this woman was talking to me. I have never been humiliated like this all my life. I felt like evaporating away from them. I felt like disappearing into the thin air. <sighs> oh God. I know that feeling. I can relate, trust me. I felt terrible. All through last night, I couldn't sleep till it was morning. I had to start rushing to the park. So, what did your guy say? What else? He was apologizing to me. I know by now, both of them will be having issues. <sighs> Make I talk my mind. I seem to be me now. Me, Lucy. I can never marry a guy whose mother hates me. I'm not just get strength for mother in law palaba at all. And I will not advise any lady to do so. At all, at all. Exactly my thoughts. I have gone through a lot, Lucy. Ah. I never wanted to. I wouldn't have been here in the first place. 
I saw all this coming from the onset, but my mother, that woman. Again, what are you doing here? Are you not supposed to be in the with your mother in law? Mama, yeah. I am not interested. Thomas and his mother should go to hell and burn to ashes. <laughs> hey, Anna, I call you in. Nobody will reduce me to a slave. Never. Nobody. Hey, Maggie, what are you before? Are you better than a slave? Mm -hmm. Eh, answer me. Mama, how can you say a thing like that? Why can I not say a thing like that? You walk in here with your bag when you're supposed to be with your mother-in-law in, in Benin. Home we can accuse you go taste her and nothing and why? Ibura Babanata. You come here, you are standing before me to tell me, eh, eh, in short, to inform me that you are no longer interested in the marriage, just like that. Maggie. Che! Maggie. Are you blind? Are you blind that you cannot see that poverty has reduced you, me, us to nothing. Are you blind not to have seen that that young man, Thomas, is a God sent to this family to liberate us from poverty? Poverty has reduced me, you, us to nothing. So, ne, the better you accept it as your faith, the better for the both of us. Because Thomas, you must marry. And you are going back to Benin. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm. not even a welcome from you. Hey, yeah. I, I need to go and drop my bag. Oh, look. Don't worry. Drop the bag. You will still bring it out. You must return to Benin, no? You see, Thomas, you must marry that young man. He is the man I want. Akwanona, Omonage. Here you go. What happened? Mama, that woman hates me so much. She hates me with passion. I can't imagine her being my mother in law. No, Mama. No. Maggie? I am asking you what happened. Now I call you. You have not answered my question. What happened? Okay, Mama. There is nothing I do that pleases that woman. Everything I do irritates and disgusts her. As if that was not enough, she stopped the chef, meds, and the cleaners from doing their duties and mandated me to be working. That is the, it is the duty of a woman to be doing all the works. Mama, do you know that I work from morning to evening on a daily basis? I cook three times a day. I wash three times in a week. Mama, I mop the whole house every two days. Mama, the suffering is much. I can't take it now. I cannot. No. Maggie, are you done? Yes, Mama. Good. Let me ask you. How was your stay in the university? Even when your uncle was sending money for your school fees. How were you coping in your academic career? Mama, I suffered a lot. But I wasn't complaining because I know my family was poor. If we had money like other families, it wouldn't be so. Good. Now let me ask you another question. How was your stay with your brothers and your sisters when you all were growing up as children. 
Mama, we suffered a lot. We find it difficult to feed twice a day. Good. Now I want you to see it in your mother's in-laws perspective that it is not her fault. Do you know what is happening to you, Maggie? It's called fate. And that fate you have refused to accept. That same fate, Maggie, you have refused totally to accept in good faith. What is your problem? I want to know. Why are you so confused? Answer me. Okwa so giwa. Kan fun na ye tin ye sugar no no. Umire ya. Sinye yo se kota. Maggie. Emu ye megi. We have I wrong thing. Maggie. Ma. Talk because I feel that's all them come tagging nogi. To be honest, hold on. Wait. This same man, Thomas, that you have refused to marry, has accepted to give you everything a woman desires in this marriage just for you to be happy. Magisene Choria. This same young man, Thomas, is already making plans to build a house for us. Maggie, you are refusing it. This same young man, Thomas, that you have refused to marry, have already sent you a car. It's in a toro. Bianne, Ebamus. Answer me! Mama, does that mean I was born to suffer? Hey. Did I say that you are born to suffer? Have I said anything close to that? What I am trying to tell you is that Thomas is ready to give you everything and is ready to make you happy. We have suffered enough. Me, I have suffered enough. And I want to come out of that suffering. And if you're telling me you're suffering, you should be happy now. Uh -huh now because it is better to suffer in, in money than to suffer in poverty. So, I will prefer you to gladly welcome that suffering and continue in that suffering because it is suffering and money. Agni, am I saying something that you are not getting? No, Mama. Have I not suffered enough? Suffer. You shall have. Right now, I want you to be normal. Makana, ipura apu. Can watch to ipura oge. Mama. Mama what? I am a graduate now. Hey, now is not the same as before. Mm. You are a graduate. Kagini Mezia. Maggie. You are not the only graduate. Though. There are so many graduates roaming in the streets. These same graduates have not been able to secure jobs for themselves, Maggie. And if these same graduates are able to secure jobs for themselves. Maggie, how much is the salary? How much? Because sometimes I feel their income is usually lesser to what they spend. You know what we will do now so that there will be peace in this house? Eh? You see that young man, Thomas? We must marry him. Maggie, you are not a witch. You see this one, you will not deny me or deprive me of this joy. That house, he must build. You will get up here. Get ready to go back to Benin. Talk now. Let me now tell you my final word. See this conversation. Eh? It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. So, you know what you do for me, eh? You will go back to Benin. You will go and meet that your mother-in-law, eh? Are you hearing me? Eh? You wait for your husband to come back 
and make sure you don't come back. You don't, you make sure that you come back to this house with that car that was sent for you. In the end, Thomas, you must marry. Take me go. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I tried everything to convince Mama that this relationship cannot work. That I can start a fresh relationship over. I can be lucky to have a man who is rich also who is even richer than Thomas. But all my words fell on deaf ears. Good afternoon. And who are you? Oh, I'm Margaret's friend. Also, no. You are Margaret's friend. Guinea, where is Um, is she around? She's not around. Uh, Ma, she's expecting me. In fact, she knows that I'm coming today. Hi. Bien wokem. Before me, me pa nyama. Ona? Come on, get out from this place. It's okay. I'm sorry, ma. Look at his like I'll, I'll take my leave. Nana! Nah. I'm ma. Sorry for yourself too. Ew. Nyara. Hello. You said what? How? As in how? I have been in the house since morning. I didn't go anywhere. My mother? Oh my God. Please, where are you now? Okay, just wait there. I am, I am, I am coming right away. Please, I'm coming now. <sighs> Mama, why would you lie unnecessarily? You need to come and walk in wine. Answer me. What does a man and a woman have in common? Answer me. Mama. I don't have your time now. Yeah. I don't. Omo kama gena agwa. Omo kama gena agwa. Or say no, Mama. I don't have your time in this house. Sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive my mom too. Please. I mean, she hasn't met me before. Why is she being so hostile? Does she know me? Does she know where I'm coming from? No, so I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. Let's go back to the house. Back to where? I'm not going back to that house. I'm not going back there. Okay, let's sit at nearby store. I'm okay here. That's your mom. Who? She. Where is she going to? Yeah? Leave my daughter alone. Leave Maggie alone. Mama! She's a married woman. Shut up your mouth. I'm going to go. Okay? Maggie, are you married? Answer him. No, I am not married to anybody. No. Hey! Maggie, see that you are not married. Hold on. 
Has she told you that her husband lives in London? Eh? Maggie, you're even married and your husband is in London. Mm -mm. Hey. Mm -mm. You did not tell him. No. Now hold on. Shut the check on. Don't worry. As for you, let me ask you a question and I want you to answer me honestly. If you are married to a woman and you hear or you see that she's dating another man, at your back, how would you feel? Okay, me. Answer me. Hey, yeah, it's a go. Answer me now. <sighs> Maggie, Maggie, my daughter, please, I don't want you to feel bad. I know that deep down in your heart, you must have been asking yourself so many questions. And you must have been thinking, if I am actually your mother, I am your mother. It's okay. See, listen to me. In your hands. The truth is that no mother hates her own. No mother will want to hate her own child, especially after carrying that child in her womb for nine months. All I am asking for is for you to see things in my own way. Maggie, you are very beautiful. And you're very precious. <laughs> Listen. I cannot continue in this suffering. And I cannot watch us continue in this suffering. Yes, I can understand. I can understand that your mother-in-law hates you so much. Fine, I am not disputing it. But you should also understand that she is not the one you're marrying. And... You do not need to make her your priority. She's not even a factor for now. You should focus on your husband despite the fact that he is not in the country. He lives abroad. But know it that one day he will return. And when he returns to you, the two of you will start living happily. Then that your mother-in-law will not have any excuse to come in between you people's marriage or even to try to unleash her anger and hatred on you. Yes, I know deep in my heart that this marriage will work and you'll be happy. Now listen, our six rooms bungalow is on the finishing and it is only this young man, Thomas, your own husband-to-be. He is the only one God has used to bless us. Why are you refusing this blessing? Secondly, you know that by now, you would have been a car owner, if not for your indecisiveness. Yes, you would have been driving a car of your own. And don't undermine how our mockers, how they will feel when this house will be finished. And when they hear that it belongs to us, Maggie, how will they feel? You see, them that have been mocking us will turn around to celebrate us. Understand? Please, understand. Help me, help us. Help us, please. Eh? Nah. I know you can do it. You can. Please, just do it for us. You know, go. You will be happy. Wait until your husband returns. You will be happy again. Eh? Please, stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. Come. Come. Come closer. Come. Yeah, I know that's what you want. So it's okay. Stop crying. Yeah? Is this how love? I couldn't convince her. Rather, she convinced me. Now I am the one wearing the shoe. It's now hurting me. And me alone. Mama is nowhere to share in my pains. 
Whatever the case, I am still human. I have the right to my freedom. I am nobody's slave. For any reason, will you support your mother raise her hand on your wife? Well, the truth is that Thomas is blessed with a good wife. She's calm. She's lovely. I mean, she's a wonderful wife. She is. No, I said it was here. I'm still heading to the answer. If it were to be my wife, I don't think there would be any reason for me to intervene. Because she would tear down my mother and my house that day. She would tear everything into pieces. Eh? My wife? My mother dare not raise her hand on her. It's not possible. Ha! Ah. But that was very bad. V very terrible. I mean... The presence of your friends? Ah, no, 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 no. There is no excuse whatsoever acceptable for this. Right. Ah, your wife? You watch your, your mother raise her hand on your wife? It's bad. It's really bad. You're right. You know, I used to regard Thomas as a perfect gentleman. Not anymore. No, 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 not anymore. Don't do that. My wife. Oh. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> that house will catch fire that day. No dinner. Um, I don't know. She's still moody. Maybe because you hate her. What rubbish. Maybe because I, I hate her. She deserves to be hit. She's very silly. Don't worry, Mom. I'll, I'll just go with cereal and some fruits. Don't worry. I'll make you something. Mom, no. I, I don't want you to bother yourself. Why? I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to get back at us by stabbing us. That's not going to work. You hear me? I'm a woman. I can cook. So I'll make you something, don't no, worry. No, Mama insists that You don't go to bed on an empty stomach. You just go back from work. I'll make you something nice. Rubbish. I hit her. She's moody. So what? Why won't she be moody? I thought if I hit her, she would leave. But she stayed on because she has nowhere to go. Thank you, Mom. Is this Treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this house? Oh, we treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Should I give it a break? Should I fight it out? Should I walk away?
I'm dying in silence I'm dying in silence I thought they say That my rage is a beautiful thing But mine is different Chimo yeah. But mine is different Oh my God Please help me out Baby show me some love Show me some love baby more Show me some love I need your attention I'm not asking, asking too much Show me some love I need your pampering baby Baby show me some love I'm not asking for much Show me some love Be romantic God do me my love Joy. Joy. What's wrong with this woman? Eh? Somebody will wake up to do something and she will not be on the bed. What's all this? Because in midnight she tell Joy and I'm now what's up happen at midnight. Joy. Let's go to the room. I want to do. Do what? I didn't have room to make butter pipe. Plumber, no. You know, I've been meaning to ask you a very sincere question. Like, am I your sex toy? How do you mean? I want to know if I am your sex toy. I'm a woman. Learn to treat me like a woman. I'm not your sex toy. Stop doing I'm your wife. Stop doing this to me. It's not fair. Joy, can you even listen to yourself? Eh? We are talking about the commodity I bought at a very high price. I paid completely without owing your people. Ejim, your people don't work. Eh? Can you watch pipe now, Brunsugu? Eh? Why are you doing like this now? I'm not going anywhere. Eh, okay, fine. Wait, stand up from the chair because you will spoil the chair now. Oh, child, I got ego me and galono. You spoil the chair. So go to the room and sleep, eh? I won't no, touch no, you. the room self will spoil. Because oh, we're going. Let me just lie on the floor. Hey, baba, 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 baba. Do you want to spoil the tights? I turn a room. Okay, fine. I, 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 the pipe will smoke and get water. Then I will allow you to sleep. Ma, smoke, man. We can't water anymore. Ma, can you bend now? Bend now, baby. Ah, ah. Where are you? What's in your house to spoil? Can you bend now? In a job, bend now again. What? What about the money I paid on your head? I will pay you back. Pay I will pay back. you back. Yes. When? Now, Kita. No, it's not Kita. I have to work and pay uh, you no, back. No, fine. Since you're not paying it now, can I bag it inside? Oh, and me say, Baba, be a pogo. Baba, I don't. When did he? Let's go. Let's go. Papa Waka, when you did it now? What is your problem? Okay, so, 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 so. Leave me alone! When did he now? Hmm? You want to rape me again? You want to rape me again? 
You want to tell the whole world that I used to rape you every night? Is that what you want? Eh? Well, I... Hey, baby, calm down. Leave me alone. I'm off my head. I regret it. I met you. I regret it. I met you. I regret it. Oh my God, we punish you. Oh my God, we punish you. Oh my God, we punish you. Maybe don't mind this man. Wait now. Oh, wait. Eh? You know, once I hit you now, you start crying. It will make it sweeter. Mm -hmm. Okay, just. Please don't. Hey! What are you doing? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Where are you packing your things to? Tom, you are not blind. You can obviously see what I am doing. There is no need for that question. So I am now a stupid person asking stupid questions, right? Oh, well, I don't care what you think you are doing. But whatever it is, you can't just leave my house until I say so. Say so? I say so. Tom, the last time I checked, I am human. I have a life. I have a right to live. I have a right to make choices for myself. You won't stop me from leaving this house. You must be joking. Oh, okay, I see what you're, you're expecting. You're expecting me to roll on the floor and start begging you, isn't it? Well, that will not happen. And if you want to leave, you can pack your things, but you keep it here until I say so. And then if you want to leave officially, let us have a divorce so that you can leave and let me know that I'm done with you. What is it? It's fine. If that is the way you want it. Is this Treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. You shut up. Don't talk when I'm talking. What you dare tell me that? What kind of rubbish is it? I am talking to you, you should listen to me. When, when did all this start? You don't talk back at me. Oh. What was the noise all about? Can, can, can you imagine that girl waking up this morning and telling me that she 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 wants to leave my house? On what basis? So let her go. Huh? What is she still doing here? She should leave already. She's not even needed here. Let her go back to the bachelor where she belongs. Uh, well, well, mom, she can, she can just leave like that. If she wants to leave, then let's make it official. So make it official. All you need to do is call the marriage counselor. In fact, go there now. How about start the proceedings? What's the big deal? She should get out. She's not even needed here. She should go back to the butter where she belongs. Alright, Mama. I'll, I'll stop at Sonia's and then ask her to start the divorce proceeding as well. More like it. More like it. Uh, wait. You'll be running for House of Reps next year. Yes, well. What has that got to do with anything? A lot, my dear. A lot. Compliments. You're a boarding politician. You need to learn from the mistakes of the older ones. It's called wisdom. Okay. Now, any mistake that you make, any dent on you, your opponent can use it against you. It's called common strategy. A divorce is a very big dent on your portfolio. Your opponent can use it against you and for all you know, you can get disqualified. Okay, okay. That's true, that's true. So, so how do I handle it? Should I just go in there and tell her to, okay, there's no divorce, you're not mm -mm, going mm -mm. anywhere until... You will divorce her, but on one condition.
want a divorce, right? Yes, if that is what you want as well. Okay. So, um, I'll stop at Sonia's place and have her start the divorce proceeding immediately. But that is on one condition. Which is? We will sign the divorce papers and be divorced, but we'll still stay together. I don't get you, Tom. Well, um, you would um, pack your things and go to the guest room. I will get another one. You can stop all your wifely duties. No cleaning, no washing, nothing. Right? And then, um, you, uh, you automatically still have food, water, shelter, and even your car. And your monthly salary stays intact. Everything up until August. This is September, Tom. I'm talking about August next year. And this is to what end? Political reasons. Fine. Where are you taking your things to? My new room. Excuse me. This whole arrangement does not affect your next trip to be with our kids come this summer. But I want you to understand that you must not, for any reason, disclose to them our new status. They must not be aware that we are divorced. At least not yet. Until their feeble mind is developed enough to handle the news. Is that understood? Do. Anything else? No. Whatever comes up, I'll let you know as soon as possible. Is this our love? We treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this our love? We treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Should I give it 
fight to break. Should I fight it out? As it is now, the very point I am now, I just want to have peace. I want to leave this marriage and have peace. Let my sanity be intact because I'm going crazy. Then, go for an official divorce. Divorce? Yes. No. I don't have that time. I don't have that kind of time because I just want to pack my things, leave that house quietly. I don't want problems. Like, I don't have the strength anymore. Seriously, I don't. That you're no longer living with him doesn't guarantee that you're no longer his wife. Yes. That you're no longer living with him doesn't guarantee you're no longer his wife. You're still his wife until the law says otherwise. The law. Yes, of course. See, your marriage certificate can only be rendered null and void by the law court. And until that is being done, you're still his lawful wedded wife. How do I go about that? Meet that same Sonia. That's part of her job. She will help you to process the necessary papers and all that. And mind you, you will benefit from it monetarily. Yes, you benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for this advice, cause this is actually a huge relief. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. At least, let me make up for the first one that did not work. Stop. <laughs> is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. Yeah, when did But when did it? I'm barap yoga be boom be de gata. Kai kona be de. All right. We do the one next. I want to discuss something with you. Is that why you can't even greet me? Sorry, good afternoon. I'm dying in silence. Um I want a divorce. Like I'm I'm tired of all this mess. This kind of this mess of a marriage. I'm tired. I want to just live in peace. You see, yeah, bro. <clears throat> If I book on if I am a casual, you understand. I'm probably find a church when if you want to go, you go now. Huh? Thank God you know where you kept your bags. Take your bags and go. Yes. Another thing is that once you leave this place, tell your people to return all the money I spent on your head. Makanon kege soku. Makam bata di ambu wa madisi. Mwa wogolo go mala, adekwa meji, ego, 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 mwa ifo, mba tambu wa madisi. Well understood. But to make it more flexible for you to understand, I'm not just leaving. I'm going to make it official. I'll go to the court to get divorce papers. Oh, uh, you're just saying this one, I go be my own No, no, the court go be my own. See, let me tell you something. I did you in the idiom. I found Bogu Mara. If you want to go, I am not holding you one bit. I am not holding you. 
You can do whatever you want to do. I don't care. And now let me tell you, there are beautiful girls, beautiful ladies out there looking for who to marry them. And now you're here rubbing shoulders with me. Yeah? Okay, thank you. The same thing, hey, that's the thing, your money thing. Let me tell you, if you leave this house now, eh, seven days, seven days, I'll bring in a new wife. I know Jupiter will make me accept you back. Like I care. Excuse me. You see? I go now. Who cares, Seth? See, me. As a big boy, uh, there are so many girls that will just come to me and they are even willing to do anything I ask them to do. Now, watch your pipe, nature enjoy it. Now, watch your pipe, nature enjoy it. You're here, you're here, rubbing shoulders. In fact, go! Go! Come, Sonny. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Joy waking up to tell me that she that she wants divorce. Joy telling me that she wants to divorce me. me. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Imagine children of these days. No, 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 no. No, Sony Bruce, this has nothing to do with children of nowadays. You see, there are still girls out there with proper home training. She's the one who refused to be trained by her mother. If I told the mother tries to train her in the first place. Okay, that's it. I am tired of all these things. Okay, mm. what did you tell her? What else? See, I told her if she wants to go, let her go. At least let me put myself together and get a better woman for myself. Thank you, sir. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. What the fuck? What's happening? What's wrong with you? It is not that easy. Thank you, sir. You are the guy. Simple, no one. No one there. Who should get the queen? Let me tell you something, Sonny Cruz. Whether you believe it or not, I still have to tell you there are better ladies out there with proper home training. Okay. Now, look at Chiamaka. Chiamaka, you know Chiamaka is the one her mother sells food in our line. Mm. Ah, she answers me, sir. She's too beautiful. She's respectful. She can never collect anything from me with one hand. She always used two hands with bended knees. <laughs> but the woman I married, I pay her bills. I give her money anytime she wants it. She cannot respect me one bit. Mbanono, let her go. Get, you see, Sonny, let her go. Let her go. Let me rest. It will remain only one thing for the person to lick your ass. See, but I have to tell you as my friend, calm down. Just calm down. I don't have to calm down. I don't have to calm down. See, I don't, in fact, you know I've told her, the day she leaves my house, one week, just one week, I'll get a better woman to replace her. And that is what I must do. I can't continue this way. I'm gonna go Maya. Ndiyo boneku we na sina. This boy kajo one them. Hmm? They also say that the devil you know is better than the angel you don't even know. I I will advise you as a friend for you just calm down. Put things in order. The man you be now. Yeah? Just so things as with her. If you keep on saying you pursue her and marry another person, then if you marry that person that you want to marry, only I ain't actually no kita. You know about that person, eh? Oh, but that. Ope wagazu, ope wagazu. Then you still pursue her. Then I get another person, eh? Eh, you know what I'm Okay, I'm gonna see. After one week, you know what? Mo aman bekuwa oko mo skane is good to her. Fine. Do you understand? Let me tell you something. If you are expecting me. To beg Joy not to go. You are a liar. I won't beg her. I won't beg her. See, if she has made up her mind to go, let her go. And let me still tell you one thing. You know, you talked about uh, uh, the, the devil you know, or uh, the angel you don't know. No! Sometimes the angels you don't know 
when they come into your life, they bring light into your life. And when they come in, you're saga as you. Who check out here? Begging her or not, you are still the man. Do the right thing. Yeah? Yeah, basically, now I have one way to now, I am just talking to you as a friend. Please, and that's the only thing I have, have to your see. drink. Have your drink. See, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Let her go. If she wants, let her go. See, uh, um, uh, uh, Sonny Bruce, the only thing I want now is for them to gather all the money I spent on her head and give it to me. Yes. Why on her talk with Otiao? Let them give me that money. And why are you laughing now? No, no. What is funny? Why are you laughing? Uh, go my... The fact is that you must be joking. I am not joking. I am not joking. I am not joking, Sonny. Why would I be joking with such a delicate matter? I am serious. Let her give me that money. If she's not interested. Okay. Ogunogo go my... As my friend, let me ask you. Who will give you back the money? Is it the father of the girl? The woman now? The Umada, the Indara Tradi, or the youth that whenever you get married to anybody you want to marry, they wait for you beside the gate. If you don't settle them, they will jah jah. So who is going to give you the money? Uh, let me tell you, any of them can provide the money. Any of them can provide the money. See, go to Alutaradi uh, or Umona or whatever. Any of them can gather the money and give it to me. Any of them can bring. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me I should forget about that money? All the money I spent there? Are you expecting me to leave all the money I spent there? Up to one point something million naira. I should leave it? I'm um, banana. No, no. I draw possible. I I I did take two for a bug I am still saying the same thing. Hmm? That's the same reason you should say no to divorce. Do you understand? You must say no to divorce. Because the money you're talking about now, yeah? They will not even give you, give you back the money. The only money I'm sure they are going to give you is the money you paid for the bride price. Which will not even be up to 200 naira. How much did you pay? Did you tell me as a friend when you paid the money? I did not know. So, when you're talking about the money, maybe they will give you 200 naira or 500 naira. You should think about it. Oh yeah, make it noise. Yeah. You remember what you got, got, uh, uh, See, uh, 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 let me tell you. Uh, see, uh, 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 it's not that I am supporting her to go. Uh -huh. uh, 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 but I can't beg her now. Mm -hmm. I, I must not beg her. Uh, if, if she has made up her mind to go, uh, she can go, but I can't tell her to go. Uh -huh. I, I can't tell her to go. Uh, fine. Joy, I want to enter. Land of Kenya. Enter now. Why are you acting like is this not my property? It's my thing now. Let me. I have told you several times that I am done with this marriage. I am done. Like I'm so done with this marriage. I've told you before, right? Let me be. Uh, uh, fine and good. But you're still living in my house. As long as you still live under my roof, I, I, will, I, will, I will do this any time, any day. This is my property. After all, I bought it at a high price. Hmm? You want to do? Oh, Abby? You want to do? I know what I will do to you. I will tell my lawyers to give me a court injunction to make you stop raping me at your will. Yes, until when the divorce people are ready. The, 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 your eye will not be open. I'm very serious. 
Oh, okay. Good. Fine, fine. Uh, see then. Can I enter now? Come on. Hmm? Want to do? Yes. Want to do? Imagine, imagine. Want to do? Papa finish job. No, you want to do now? Yes. Uh -huh. Come on, do. Come and do, do, come and do, do, let your kid do it, do, come and do, what to do, wait, wait, come and do now, come on, okay, do, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, do, come down, let me, let me just help you, no, don't worry, I want a divorce, Madam, well, we don't encourage intending couples who are seeking for divorce to go ahead with it. We, we try every possible means to discourage them from getting a divorce. But you know, some men can be very frustrating. My God, like some men are actually real life devil incarnates. Especially the hellish man you're living with. Oh, you already know my husband. You see, the other day he was here. Hmm. One of the worst days of my life. Because he bring all manner of abuses on me. What? Oh. I'm sorry, but I came back here. You didn't act like that. I said I am a bomb professional. I wasn't only doing the job you paid me to do. It's called minding the business that pays you. Oh, good. Okay, now that you know my husband, makes it easier. Okay, if you were to be in my shoes, what advice would you give to me? Like, what would you have me do? Well, I'm going to be honest with you right now. You are the only one wearing this shoe, so obviously you know where he hurts most. If you can no longer condone his excesses, I would advise you from the way before you with your life. You know? Yeah, because that man I saw, I stop hitting you up. <sighs> no, um, my husband could be anything. It could be anything miserable or anything stupid or to hit a woman. Nah. He, he has just this problem of his mouth. He does not talk, he's an illiterate, stuck illiterate. Yeah, but to hit a woman, nah, nah. He can't even hurt a fly. You know, it's not, oh, Golo, that I know, it's not like that. It's not. It's not. You are his wife. You know him better than anyone else, so if you say so, fine. But I hope you understand. That some verbal abuses hurts more than physical abuse, right? Exactly the reason I want to divorce him. Since you've already made up your mind on getting a divorce, I am here to help you get that. Divorce you shall get, woman. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this how life? We treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love? We treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Should I give it a break? Good afternoon. You got me to Ghana. Guess I'm going to Ghana. What is here? I'm dying in silence. Open and read. From who? From my lawyer and solicitor. That is the divorce papers from the court I told you about. Hey, enjoy see why I like you, eh? You are smart. <laughs> so you have finally connived with your criminal lawyer to plot this, eh? 
qui me zé coup de ma pomme. Ta ba 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 fou. Gente, let me tell you, assistant on what I told you. If you have made up your mind to go, find and go, leave the house. And I'm still telling you that I give you seven days, seven days, seven days. I'll bring in a new wife, and nothing will make me accept you back. On where, where? Nothing will make me accept you back. So if you're anything you're doing now, be careful, be careful, be careful. Thank you. <laughs> awesome, thank you. And I seem thank you, no yem on yem divorce letter. Con I seem thank you, now try divorce. It's not joking. What the girl you are employing and the girl was in care man and keep as well. That is the same girl you want me to beg to stay back. No, 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 no. See, my mind is made up. It can't go home now. It can't go home for this marriage. She will regret all these things she's doing. And I am to go and ask now because now my age is too old. When tomorrow comes, she will say, "Had I know." She will regret all these things that you're, she's doing. And that time, why are you go too late? When, uh, hi. Let me tell you, me, I know that she will regret it. But by that time, it's going to be late. It will be too late for, for us to make amend. Oh, I'm going to get a note. Yeah? I'm going to I'm going to get a note. Yeah? I'm going to get a note. I'm going to get a note. I'm going to get a note. I'm by all forces. And whatever, what's her name? Whatever she like, let her do. But what's her name? Hey! But you know, I wish I can just call her and you know, talk sense into her and, and let me know if she can come back to her senses. Yeah, this thing is, it's not my business. But to me, there's no point of calling her. Rap here, no point of calling her. What now was a go? But you're not pegging out the lamp, or sorry, full time. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. Sweetheart, I'm ready for work. Your breakfast is ready, and about what I is in the small flats. See you later. It's today not supposed to be the last Thursday of the month. Oh dear me, our daughter is visiting the right. Gosh, I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. It's past 8 a.m. already. I'm late for work already. See that, I can't make it. I don't know if you're going to be free or busy in the office today, but in our ways, I can send my sister to represent us. Can you listen to yourself, Sonia? No, like, can you hear yourself talk? A married woman, a specialist on marriage affairs, can you hear yourself talk? Please, what did I do wrong now? When will you start leaving up your responsibilities as a married woman? When will you stop delegating your responsibilities to others? Your marriage should come first before anything else. That's what makes you a successful woman. Wait a minute. What exactly are you trying to say? No, I need to know why you love picking up unnecessary quarrels with me all the damn time. Like, why do you like exchanging words with me? If you don't do that every day, you, you'll not be fine, right? Is that it? No, I need to know why. Listen to me, don't you forget things? Why are you sitting here acting like Mr. Buffett? You don't forget you things. Not things like this. Sonia, you don't forget things like this. Things you like don't. What? Excuse me, things like what? Educate me, please. Things like what? You of all people know that I've got a whole lot in my head. Like I've got a whole lot. 
a whole lot of divorce cases to handle? Court cases too! My head is full, for God's sake! Don't you understand? Here is my point exactly, Sonia. Your marriage should come first before any other thing. Your marriage should always be in your mind. Set your priorities right for goodness sake. You're a woman, not a man. You married me as an ambitious woman. You married me as a career-minded woman. From the get-go, you knew what you were getting yourself into. So why are you acting all confused right now? No, why are you complaining? Listen, it's too early to do this with you. And I refuse to partake in this drama. See you later. That's it. See me later all the time. You don't even care about your family. Good morning, ma'am. Julie, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Ma, the couples are here waiting already, ma'am. Two different couples or just a couple? Four people are in the reception, two husbands and two wives. Oh, really? What kept you, ma? Julia, it's not important. The most important thing is that I'm here now. Okay? okay. Hey, take. Get my stuff from the car. Okay, ma. Mr. Algolo. Mr. Algolo, can you stop moving and go straight to the point? I've got people waiting for me, please. How do you want me to sign this thing? Eh? Oh, go now again, we got sign here. I don't understand. What do you mean by? What do you mean by that? How can I accept to give her one of my landed properties? Eh? I built those houses with my money. The same way I married her with my money. So if she has made up her mind to go, let her go. Eh? I'm, I'm not giving her anything apart from her belongings. Mr. Agolo, can I explain something to you? Oh, uh, Major. Fine. In divorce case like this, that is based on mutual consent, there is minimal to the things he can let go, to have a peaceful divorce. But if you insist, I'll be left with no other option than to have my lawyer write a petition to the judge. And mind you, that the judge might decide, after going through it, that you both share all your properties equally. No judge will try it. On Apala. No judge will try it. Fortunately for your wife, and unfortunately for you, the constitution gave room for that. So long the judge is able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that your wife contributed to the building of those properties. Huh? Yeah. It's a build. Joy, I feel good, huh? That you contributed where? Nebezi. She did not contribute anything though. Calm down. Calm down. Contribution includes your advice, taking care of your kids while you're away for the business of the day. And above all, the most important of all, her moral support. So you see, it mustn't necessarily be about money. No. <clears throat> I'm bound on one chance. It could be you. I got a woman no one chance come back. Women are being okay now. Oh, you want me? You see, this is the reason we advise and try to discourage couples for going for divorce over little issues like this that can be settled amicably. Okay? Misunderstandings are bound to happen in marriage. No marriage is perfect. All you need is tolerance and patience, especially if new. 
All right? If every couple keep going for divorce over little issues like this, I tell you, there won't be any successful marriage again. So are you still going to sign it? <clears throat> I advise you consider all you stand to lose. You think about it. You see, uh, to me, uh, I don't want to lose anything in the name of this uh, divorce. You uh, see, so our uh, pet name culture, our pet name bunso bun. As my pet name, it's only me bum ni ruya. Huh? Why am I being? Oh, give me. It's bum one. Ma. Aku nangu. Aku dah lama tak. Ela orang muka ibu ibu. Ela watch a close account. I'm gonna be a bum one. <laughs> Let's go. Leave me alone. Let's go. Hmm. Anyway, it's close the account on your account. Don't worry, I will change. If I have changed, I change the mm. account. Uh, 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 one, your turn. Uh, please, um, uh, 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 I want you to keep the paper. Uh, whether you call it a lawyer, a big judge paper, whatever, just keep it. Eh? Just do away with it, okay? We are cool. We can settle. You should not sign it again. Where will I sign? All bogey sign. Huh? Okay, that's fine. Sorry, I'm a little see. Calm down, eh? See, I have changed. You understand? See, you know, I am so sorry I know I've wronged you. You understand? But you see, those days, the way we used to be, those days that we met newly, eh? I, I want us to go back to those days. And I promise I won't insult you again. I won't curse you again, okay? But I'm not in the road. They change the game for good. You got that? Hey, see, I have changed. Eh? They for petting. Or what pet? I'm gonna pet to give you a book. Get that? Yeah. We got book on Bonnie and Pipe. Now watch out. You got that? Man, I'm gonna pet to give you a book. You got that? Calm down now. Hmm? I've changed now. You go. Oh, 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 you see, from today, eh, I'll be the one to always open door for you and always close it. <laughs> Love, I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I've changed. Hey. Hey, I'm back. I'm going to buy. Oh, it's me now. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. Eh? I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. Let me... My husband. Eh? I have changed. You know, it, it, it doesn't take time for somebody to change. I don't work it's way too good there, so I decided to change. It's a people shouldn't be <clears throat> it's a people shouldn't be coming in between us. Huh? Why would they be telling us how to share our property number now? <laughs> I'm changing, you know good? We stop at the fast food and eat something. Are you not hungry? I am. Uh, you no, know, cheer up. Uh, you see, uh, let's go and eat something. See, uh, uh, the man you're seeing now sitting beside you, I am a changed person. Uh, I've changed for good. Hey, what are? Uh, I've changed. My small now. Hmm? Can't you smile? Smile. Um. All right. I understand. I understand. But um, I want you to chill. Okay. I've changed. Why am I I'm smile. 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 See, I don't worry. I've changed. I won't hurt you again. I'm not gonna make you angry again. I won't make you angry again. I've changed change for good okay are you fine mm. okay. 
okay so um uh, which of the restaurants do you prefer hmm? uh, yes uh, which of them do you prefer uh, five star five star okay fine we'll consider it done let's go there let's drive down now eh? <sighs> okay smile <laughs> <laughs> yes that's my baby yeah, my love no one relax huh? okay i'm changed i'm, I'm changed for good A woman, a woman that didn't contribute anything to my property, be a shareholder. What is possible now? No, a woman that didn't contribute anything. Eh? She want me to share my properties with her. Somebody that, that decided to divorce me, I will not bring my properties and start sharing. God, 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 cheating now. They want to cheat me. What is possible? When the you know, okay, but you might not be up on the guy now. But you, you got to. So and they don't even want to lose. You want to go? No, no, no. no, 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 no. If, if, if you are the one, eh? would you want to lose if you are the one? I won't lose now. Eh? She be a uh, for your pet name. Mm. She okay. wants me to be calling her pet names instead of me to lose my property or to share my properties with her. What we your pet name now? Pet name got your. What we your pet name now? A J pet name, a America. Let me call her pet name. Let my properties remain for me. Hey, man, you busy going you? Hey, my bro, you may go and I go. Man, I'm on my own you. You man, I'm on you. Name me, you are my car. Man, I'm on you. You are my car. You are confirming, woman. Get a go. You woman, not the loose guard at all now. Get a go. Eh, eh, eh. Ongoto says he will man do you. Oh, like this now. They just want to scam me. I want to toss this here who are you now? If not like this now. They want to scam me. Me, I, I am happy that you are guard the gear. You guys want you go. Come from on you go. Go, go. I can't this guard there. Yeah? And I get. I don't know about that, but I don't know now. Now, that way I want. She can't try that. I help with him now. I help with him now. Oh, Mr. Tom. Okay, do let him in then. Immediately. <clears throat> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Please do have a seat. Thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Your wife? I heard your mom is in the country. How is she too? My other one is fine. Thank you. So, how may I help you? Oh, yes. Yes, uh, my wife and I have, um, they have decided to get a divorce. What? Yeah. Wait. What in God's name is wrong with marriages these days? So, I... I'm here to ask you to start um, the divorce proceedings as soon as possible. Wait a minute, Mr. Tom. I, 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 don't, I don't get you at all. I, are you saying there is nothing that can be done to resolve this? Like I would like to see you and your wife together. Oh, um, I, don't, I don't 
think that will be necessary because our minds are made up so you just um, need to get the divorce papers ready and uh, let us know So how soon is your soul? Very soon. Since you said your minds are made up already. Oh yes, I will. Um, I mean, um, <laughs> of course we. Our minds are made up. So when exactly is uh, your soul? Or how soon is your soul? as possible. All right, um, I believe we're done with this session. Thank you. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things. How he handles things. A man must be defined. By his priorities, not by his desires. Nick, I am beginning to lose faith in my marriage. Come on, don't say a thing like that. Come on, stop it. I'm dead serious. I'm, 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 I'm very serious, Nick. I'm being, I'm being serious. So, let me tell you one thing you don't know. You are blessed with a good wife. Who? Your wife. You are me. blessed, you don't know it. Me? Yes. Blessed with a good man? Yes. That means you don't know my wife. Forget about social life. When you come close, my guy, you go be grace. Oh, sorry, I'll put it all Be blessed. Can I teach you my philosophy about marriage? Okay, go on. I believe that uh, for a marriage to work or fail, the complete making of the man, the husband, the head of the family. How do you mean? You see, every woman has a good side and her bad side. Even the worst of them all still has that good side of her. It is garbage, garbage out. What you give to her is exactly what she gives back to you even when she's callous and wild. Don't tell me that, Nick. Why it is so mean? If you can ignore those bad side of her and love her as though you didn't notice the bad side of her, you win her. Love changes anything. Can I tell you the story my father told me about marriage? Okay. Make sure my hair is very beautiful. Now, Kanda, let me do this for you. Okay, oh, sorry, ma. Okay. Oh, no. I was wondering, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shama, how are you? Fine, sir. You are plating her hair? Yes, sir. So she can look more bright now. That's very good of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. The problem has landed. What is this in my Yes, but you're soon here. Calm down. Chibuku! Chibuku! What did I tell you? Did you hear that? Choma, you have to start going. Please. Chibu Ugo! I'm not done with you. Choma, please. You have to start going. I will talk to you later. Chibu Ugo! Yes! Please, I will talk to you later, okay? Okay, when you're ready. Bye bye. Bye bye. I heard my voice and you were I answered you. 
because you know why I'm coming. Look at my house. Look at the house of a married woman. Chibubu, are you a wife or a pig? Is this not the plate that your children ate with this morning? How many times have I warned you against keeping my house like a madman's house? How many times, you pig? I am not a pig. It's just that when Choma came to make my hair, I, I, I forgot to, to arrange the house. Shut up! Shut up! You're always giving silly excuses. Look at my house. Look at it. How can a man spend his money to buy a pig to live with him? The pig is even better than you. Now, before I descend on you, make sure you clear all this thing now. Come on, clear this place. Is it because of these little things that, 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 that you're calling me names? Eh? It is your sisters and your aunties, in short, all your generations, that are pigs. Stand ah. here to banter work with me. Are you... Are you people disturbing the peace of this neighborhood? You are not the only married man here now. Papa, is it not that evil of a woman that I married? I am regretting ever, ever meeting her in my life. I am regretting everything. But the fault is not for this woman. The fault is for you. Papa, eh? how do you mean? Okay, let me now ask you. All this way that you are beating her, abusing her in the world of this public, has she changed? You don't change a woman by hitting her or by abusing her. You change her with love. Love. How do you mean, Papa? I will tell you what to do the next time you come back and you find your house in a mess like this. Papa, I'm listening. I will tell you. Chichi, yes, I'm back. What were you doing? I, I was resting inside. I did not know when I slept off. I'm sorry. You must be tired. You can go back in and start sleeping. No, no. I'm okay now. I'm awake. Just stop everything. I will, I will take care of you today. Don't worry. Chichi, <laughs> I'm already doing that. Don't worry. I will take care of it. Uh, I hope you're not angry with me. The way you... I can't be angry with you. Come. Weak men get angry with their wives, but strong men don't. I was weak, but I am strong now. I can't be angry with the love of my life, the mother of my kids. Not anymore. I am no longer angry with you. If you say so, thank you. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, hmm. Choma, you won't believe this. God has really changed my husband completely. Eh? Yes, so he no longer talks to me anyhow. He does not beat me anymore. Now call me sweet names. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm really happy. Thank really? God, though. All the fighting and shouting are no more. Children will grow up no stigma. And not anymore. Eh? Mm -hmm. Not now that God has restored peace in my home. They will now grow up with love. I'm happy for you. Yes. Uh, uh, please, check your time. What's the time now? It's after three. Hey, 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 please, 
I, I need to go inside and arrange my house. I don't want my husband to come and meet the house like that. No, now that God has restored peace in my home, I don't want to be the one that will scatter the home again. Okay, I'll no talk problem. to you tomorrow, okay? Just, 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 all right, take care. I'll talk you. to you later. Bye-bye. And it has really helped me a lot. I learned this from my father. You see, love is the greatest force on earth. The making of a marriage, the success of a marriage, lies hundred percent on the shoulders of a man. When you know this, you will make peace. I learned this from my father and it has really helped me a lot. There is no how you respond to a woman with love that she will not change. You don't change the woman by force. You change the woman with love. Love is the greatest force on the earth. The success and the failure of a marriage lies 100% the shoulders of a man. When you know this, a man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things, how he handles things. A man must be so anybody else want to come on my live? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Best thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I'm excited that you're all here. Oh, he's back. Hello, son. Hi, Hey, darling. You look tired. Come. No, work was hectic. Mm. Mm -hmm. How did it go at work today? Ah, oh, well, it was it was work, <laughs> hence the tiredness. And how's the divorce thing coming on? I went by Sonia's and she said that she would um, give her some weeks and she'll be Some done weeks? Uh, she can't tell us when exactly? No, she said because of the papers that she needed to file some papers at the anyway, court. Yeah. Well, we'll wait for the divorce papers to be ready. Yeah. Your new bride be joining us. <laughs> I spoke to her parents. Um, coincidentally, she's in the country, so they've allowed her to come and spend some days with us so you guys get to know each other and get to bond. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I don't mean exactly. You should I've... be excited. You uh, need to see this girl. She, Mwamaka. Hey! Mm. Oh, Malo. You know now, I know what's going for <laughs> yeah, you. Of course, yeah? Mom, of course. Okay, go in and um, settle in. I'll come get us something to eat, okay? All right, Mom. Welcome. If it's fine by you, it is fine by me. It is fine by me. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> Welcome you, home. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, you were saying. Hi, guys. Daddy came to pick me up from the meeting break. Oh yeah, he did. Oh, yes. Wow, that's so nice of him, Angel. <laughs> Angel, mommy is sorry she couldn't come to pick you up because mommy is choked up with work. Like I'm very tired and it's just rest. Okay, mommy, you didn't buy anything for me. 
Oh, yes. I'm sorry, baby. Mom is tired, like I said. Don't worry, I'll just rest a little bit and then freshen up. Go out, I buy you whatever food you want, and I'll buy you ice cream, your favorite. Yay! You I'll want... eat ice cream today. You want ice cream, right? That's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. <laughs> Welcome. So where is daddy? He's in the kitchen. Kitchen? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back, Angel. Continue with my watch. you go up, have your shower while I prepare your dinner. I know you can't wait to eat my food. <laughs> Just go in, have your shower then relax. Your husband is in the kitchen. You know, I didn't know I married the best cook in the whole wide world. Like, how lucky can I be? <laughs> My God. Hey. You can say that again. You can cook. Oh, my God. Hmm. <laughs> Babe. Babe, I've been wondering. I think something is not right. You know, you've changed. You, you no longer shout at me. Even when I do things that I know that provoke you. You just ignore me. What's going on? Are you planning to leave me? Planning to leave you? Never. I will never plan such evil. What's happening then? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Just that... I realize that weak men get angry with their wives but strong men don't i used to be weak but now i'm strong that was what happened <laughs> i just love you oh my god i love you more babe <laughs> it's okay it's fine so what would you like to eat tomorrow? <laughs> uh, Joy! What's, what's her pet name? Uh, mommy! Oh, my little one! Oh, my little! One more, me. Muye, Ogolo, go, Mara. Baby, did you call me? Ah, I did not just call you. I've been calling you since now. Hey. hey. No, you look sharp. Of course. Hey. Hey, ah, look at your favorite cartoon. Mm. <laughs> Sweet heart. Mm -hmm. The mama. Mm -hmm. The mama. Uh -huh. Angel, call me. Away. My lord. Away. My king. Hey, Ozuma. My hero. <laughs> hey. Odim Nobi. Eh? Okay, Jabamba. Away. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I'm watching Bible. Hey, I'm watching Bible. One kisses. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hey! Ah, but now I got you. Go, go, no. Hey! I got the pockets. Hey! If I get me now, I would not have much. When you're boss, I'm here. But when did it? Let's go inside. I'm back from here. Eba? Yes. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, you know, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not do I thought we've had two rounds already. I'm tired. Let me rest. Mm -mm. I want more. I'm not satisfied. You want more? Mm -hmm. So you like this thing? And you keep pretending as if I'm the only one that likes it? I was not pretending. You, you were being a rough rider. You, you, you were always trying to rape me. In fact, you were raping me. You're not romantic. Don't you do that if you, if you touch your woman. You cuddle her. And then she get wet for you. And then she'll be honey, and then she give it to you the way you want it, anyhow. So I want more. You know, we, we keep learning every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you want more? Yes, baby. I want more. You want more? Mm -hmm. I want to take a water pool pipe, oh. As plumber. Who eat them now, Kuala? I would love to put on a red dress and um, something really cozy, you know. <laughs> okay, so um, what time are you picking me up? Uh. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. Oh, oh my little umba, big Oh, get it, Becky! 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 Good oh to my see God, you. you look amazing. Turn Thank around. you! Turn around, 12 for mom, baby. We didn't have that. You too, mommy. 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 You my son, your husband. <laughs> Big Fanta. Oh, the Waka Fanta. I get it. I get it. Hi. Hi. Hi, Thomas, right? Uh, just call me Tom. I, I have met your brother, sir, uh, and um, and your parents a couple of times. Oh. Yes. I equally met your parents and your younger sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you. Oh! <laughs> you, you know what? Let's go and have lunch. Lunch is ready. Come, come, my darling. Yeah. Sorry. My box. They're already inside. Of you. All right. No. <laughs> so you're picking up in five minutes. Uh huh. Of course I will. I'm actually trying not to wear something sexy. You know. A red dress will be fine because I like. <laughs> You're very naughty. I hope you know that. Five o'clock. So you're welcome. So, um... This is my bedroom. And um, you've seen the rest of the house. What do you think? I can.
can manage. Okay. All right. So why don't you? <laughs> why don't you um, choose the bathroom, freshen up, and then come downstairs? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now. This is the bathroom. Okay. See ya. Do I really like this place? Ah, it's too small. Does she like your bedroom? Does she have a choice? Yes. <laughs> no. Did you notice her, Margaret? I didn't notice anybody. Mom, she was just there making an unending call with God knows who, and she was and laughing how like a. How is that your business? No, she. Well, as my wife in my house, she's. A... Your ex wife, Thomas. Ex wife. Yeah, but we haven't signed the divorce papers. It doesn't make any difference to me. As far as I'm concerned, you're divorced. And it will stay that way. Can you go upstairs and take care of your guests? Yeah, Mom, l let me just check something outside. Thomas, no? you have a guest. Yeah, I know, Mom. I just want to... Go in and take care of your guest. Mom, but it's just... Um, Thomas. Me... Yes, Mom. Upstairs. Yes, Mom, but... I just wanted to uh, tell. Fine. <clears throat> what is this rubbish? Maybe we should send her packing completely. She's too much distraction. What is the problem? I don't like the bathroom. It's not spacious. All right. Um, why don't you just um, manage it for now? Just um, take your shower. We, we're actually downstairs waiting for you. You know where I'm coming from. I, it's too small. It's just it's a tiny fine. space, more like a cubicle. It's, uh, it's fine. Just um, manage it for now, okay? You're not supposed to spoil your face with that gloomy look on it. Hmm? You manage it, yeah? Good. See, um, I am here, you are here, and you've seen all that there is to see of my house. What do you think? Mm, not as big as I had thought. But I can manage. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I promised to get us a new house before our wedding. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> the truth is, I'd always admired your family. 
Mm. I always wanted to be a part of your family. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'd always admired you from a distance, even though we hadn't met. I see your pictures and my dad talks about you all the time. And as well as my brothers, they speak highly of you. Mm. And then it got me thinking, hmm, who is this guy? Who is this guy? I think he's my kind of man. He's the kind of man I would really want to spend the rest of my life with. And boom, here I am. <laughs> Ta -da -da. <laughs> I wow. love successful men. Mm. Yes, I do. You know, life is so mysterious sometimes. And it can be mysteriously good. All those well, and here you are, not just in my house, but in my bedroom as my future wife. No! Your wife. Please keep the future. <laughs> All right, let's do that. that. So I was just thinking, why don't you just, um, you know, go to the kitchen. Uh, oh. Is there a problem? Kitchen. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking maybe could you just um, go to the kitchen and ruffle up something for <laughs> no, dinner. No, 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 no. I've never cooked in my life. Oh, yes, that's the truth. In my father's mansion, we have about... Uh, four chef, okay. um, Benita, uh, Chima, Kelvin, and uh, Andrew. About four of them. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why? Why don't you have a chef in this big house? Uh, we've never really needed any. I mean, it's just my wife and I, then um, my mother. And sometimes. Now that I am here, I think you should get one for yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. Yep. Yeah, just um. I know. Uh, I you need a minute. I, oh, I, that's fine. I'll uh, be here waiting. Bum bum ba da da. Oh, kitchen. Who's been cooking for them? His mother. You better get one for yourself. Oh, this wine doesn't even taste good as I thought. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things Mom? How he handles things Mom? Something strange though, I was having a conversation with Fanta and she made mention that she doesn't go to the kitchen. She doesn't cook at all. So I'm just wondering if she doesn't cook and I don't eat outside, how, how, how is this going to work? That is not a problem. No, listen, no. She, listen to me. Okay. Women, we like to show off. When the tips are down, she will cook for you. Oh no, mom. She doesn't sound like she's um, joking about it. She sound. It was serious for I'm her. I'm telling you it's not a problem. We like to make shakara. You know how it is now. You just met. Don't worry about that. Oh, but mom, the problem now is that I actually want to eat. I'm hungry and I... It's not a problem. I'll go fix you something. What do you want? You will cook? Why not? I, haven't I been cooking for you? Oh, Mom, you've been cooking, but that's a long time ago. So you want to... I will to... make you something, don't worry. Oh, okay, Mom. Every I... woman cooks. So what are we... Mom, you're going to the kitchen. Yes, I am. What is this you want? Well, anything. Any... You better say what you want now. No, Mom, I'm serious. Anything you give to me, I, I'm fine. Let's see if we can make anything. <laughs> Mom, what is... What is wrong? What is happening? I'm lost. Oh no, you don't need to be lost. I was just thinking, you know, you said a woman is supposed to take care of her husband and the house, right? Mm -hmm. Good. And then um, somehow Margaret is no longer in the picture. And then you brought in a lady in the capacity of a wife and she does nothing. And suddenly it is okay for you to take up some house chairs, do them yourself. And also, you are thinking of hiring a chef 
What changed? Rich and garnished it is. Does, does it look like something one should be ashamed of? I'm sorry. You want to know what has changed? Yes, exactly. I, 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 I you want, want to know, know what's going on? I, I want to you. know. Class. Class. You do not expect me to hire a chef for that thing you picked up from the butter. Really? And you do not expect that very beautiful girl raised in affluence that can get anything she wants at the tip of her fingers to come and start doing chores for you. Mom. Really? Really. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mom, just wow. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things How he handles things A man must be defined By his priorities Not by his desires Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority not an option. She's not an option. She's not an option. Thomas, your food is ready. Um, I'm coming. Not an option. She's an angel. She's not an option. Not an option. She's a priority. She's not an option. We take her love from you. Wow. So someone can actually stoop solo to eat my food. Just wow. And he even emptied the pot. This is crazy. Thing. I'm, I'm fine. No, something is bothering you. What is it? Honestly, nothing. I'm, I'm cool, actually. So why are you not touching me? Am I unattractive? Or you don't like me? Why? Why would you say such a thing? You... 
You are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. And there's no man that can reject you. Never. So why are you not touching me? Uh, I, I'm just um, thinking maybe it is not um, time yet. No, seeing that we're not um, married legally. Married at all, actually. <clears throat> Fine. So, I would like you give me a head. Um, a, a. Yes. Head. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, <clears throat> sorry. What exactly is um head? So that we'll be on same page. I mean, I, I don't understand what you're, you're asking. Where have you been living? Under a cave? A head. I mean, it makes me climax, and you know, mm -hmm. get orgasms over and over again. Mm-hmm. Okay. So start no, no, I, I, I still don't understand what you're talking about. What is exactly are you talking about? Head, Tom. Head. Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, like um, the Isefele things, yeah? That, that's what you're saying, yeah? Exactly. Oh, okay. I, um... Um... <clears throat> Sorry, just um, trying to clear my head to be a, a Again. You left again today! My God! Ma, the woman you gave her talked to me the other time, she's here already. Oh, listen, Julie, I have clothes for the day. I am going back home to make dinner for my husband. Tell anybody looking for me that I'm not available anymore. Okay, ma'am. For today, I'm shut down. Okay, ma'am. Please, help me pack up my stuff and meet me up in the car. Hurry up! Okay, ma'am. Oh, my God. How's work? Fine, then just. Hectic as usual, but I'm fine. <laughs> so, what is my beautiful wife preparing? Well, isn't that supposed to be my little secret? Ah. Don't worry, you will love it. Sure, I will. <laughs> as long as it's coming from you. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, babe. I'll be upstairs. Alright, babe. See you. See you then. Later. See you, babe. Soon. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things How he handles 
those things A man must be defined by his priorities Not by his desires Well, what are you doing? What is going on here? Why are you, why are you doing that? I'm sweeping Why? Why not? You cannot be sweeping when I have a, a wife to be in my house. No, now it's not right. You have a wife, not a wife to be. You hear me? Well, this is not fair. This is this is not. Don't worry about it. I can do this. Uh, I already spoke to my agent. Uh, by this evening, he's bringing the chef and a steward. And all this will be over. I know. But all let of... me just clean this place a little. Bit. Mom, I know all of that, but that doesn't mean you should do this. That doesn't mean you should be doing all the chores. It's not right. I said I'm fine doing it. It's okay, don't worry. You know, when Margaret was my wife, she does all the house chores and there was no okay. need for... I'm not complaining. Ejimaka Gaza. Eh? Don't come and tell me anything about some stupid Margaret now. Secret. You go with you take this love for granted, you must pay. You take this love for granted, you must pay. still in bed? Is that a problem? Aren't you supposed to sweep? Excuse me? Sweep where exactly? Because as far as I'm concerned, my room is swept. I'm not talking about this room. I'm talking about the entire house. Really? Why would you be sitting down here and my mother is doing all the house chores and sweeping everywhere? Is, does that make sense to you? Of course it doesn't make sense to me. You want me to sweep the entire house? As what? Your wife, your maid, or somebody you kept here to take care of everything for you. No, go on. But don't you know where your wife is? Do I look like your wife? I don't think so. last night in the name of trying to satisfy you, you still need one more round. <laughs> Babe, I am your wife. And it is your duty as my husband to satisfy me. Okay, uh, accepted. It is my duty to satisfy you. So what is your duty as my wife? What exactly is your duty? Because you are here lying in bed while my, my mother is out there cleaning, doing all the dishes. So what exactly is this supposed to be? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 just hold it there. Slow down, folks. 
Wait, wait, wait a second, Thomas. You mean you brought me into this house to do your house chores? Now listen to me. I was told that you needed a wife and not a maid. If you need a maid, go get one yourself. What is your problem? I am going to report this to your mother. What do you mean, what is my problem? Who is talking about a maid thing here? I am not your maid, Thomas! Who says anything about being a maid? As a wife, you're supposed to do something. Cling after yourself. Do some house chores. What, 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 what does being a wife mean to you? This is not why I came here. This is not why I came here. I am going to report this to your mother. Mommy! What is this? I don't, I, I don't blame you. I, I blame myself for all this rubbish. You don't, you don't want to do anything in this house. You just want to spend money and, and, and lie lazy about. A man's oh, age does not make it, but how he handles <laughs> No, but you know I am serious. Yes, I already told you that I would love to go on that date. Yes, I was asking. I need you to come take me out to the test day. 5 p.m. But I told you before, I'm, I'm dying of boredom here. I just need to go somewhere. Oh, you always like to spoil me silly. Thank you so much. So I'll be waiting for you. You pick me up at five. And I'm wearing that particular red dress you got for me. It's a, of course, I miss you too. And I love you. <laughs> I mean, what difference does it make whether I add very much or not? Mm -hmm. Yes, those lingerie you actually got are actually what I am wearing tonight. Which of the, the white one? <laughs> the white is my favorite. You know, the, the other time I wore the red, you said you didn't really like it. So I'm doing the white today. Okay, so I'll wait for you to pick me up. Bye. Love you. Mama, No, you not really told me that this is what you're spoiling me today. You said you will spoil me today. Mm, I will still spoil you. Mm. you not told me that this is what I will spoil you. Mm. Ah, ah. Hey. Amen. <laughs> Good. Wow. <laughs> Let me spoil you there. What it is? You people waste that time, boy. Mm. Nick, you say I should, I should, I enjoy should enjoy myself. Enjoy it. Sir. It's okay. Mm. I. I just want to show appreciation of how God used you to resolve my marriage. Do you know, I was already planning how to send Sonia out from my house and move in with another woman. But after telling me the story of your late father's advice, it changed my mentality. My whole mentality about marriage, it changed it. Look at me today now. 
I am enjoying the fruit of it. Mm. My marriage is the sweetest now. Ah. I am enjoying my marriage, me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so, so happy to hear this. Yeah. I'm just honored. No, you deserve it. I won't thank you enough. So, my brother, enjoy yourself. Mm. I'm so honored. I'm so honored. Uh, just enjoy yourself. You see, I wish every other man out there would get to know about this marriage secret of yours. It will help a lot. Yes, it will. You're right. The point is that uh, we all have a role to play. Mm -hmm. You start from the contacts, the people around your store of contacts. You preach to as many as will listen to you. <laughs> While I preach to the people around my sphere of contact, mm. together we can change the world. To yes. Better yes. Yes. No, no to divorce. We say no to divorce. Thank you very much, Nate. Look at me now. I'm enjoying my marriage, though. <laughs> my marriage is not the sweetest. The way I'm enjoying this catfish here. I'm very What you get? What you did for me is bigger than this catfish. Hmm. Hmm? You saved my marriage. Man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things. How he handles things. A man must be defined by his priorities, not by his desires. Cause a real man make his wife feel like a priority. I, I saw I saw Margaret going out of this house. I watched you walk. Well, did you see what Margaret wore out of this house? And she's even entering another man's car. What is your business? No, mom. How does that concern me? She she. Listen it, to me. She can wear whatever she wants to wear. It's not your business. You are divorced. The only reason she's here is for your political career. Get that into your head. Mom, but she's still living under my house. Keep quiet. It's not your business. She can go naked for all we care. Now, the earlier you take your eyes off that stupid girl and start concentrating on your new wife, build your new relationship and your home. You hear me? The better it is for you. Mom, the, the... Are you okay? I, Are you listening to me? Mom, I don't, I don't... Concentrate on your home. What's my business whether she goes out naked or she's dressed? Rubbish. This boy needs to be so good. Thomas. Sir, dinner is served. Okay, I'm coming. Yes, Thank you. You take her love for granted. You go there. You take this love for granted. You must pay. 
Is this how your village people prepare bitter leaf soup? Eh? What? Are you even a Ketra? Yes, sir. I'm a Ketra. You can confirm from our agency. Which rubbish agency are you talking about? You should be able to defend what you say you can do. What exactly is this? You know what? <clears throat> Tomorrow morning, I do not want to wake up and see you here. Take this rubbish and take yourself out of this house. Sir? Oh, from sir, sir, please now. Oh, sir? Shh. Sir? This is bitter leaf soup now. Sir? Rubbish. Why were you raising your voice? Mom, where, where did you get that boy from? What boy? The chef or whatever he says he's doing in my house. You don't like his cooking? Mom, have you tasted anything that he cooks in this house? Yes, he's good. I like it. Really? Yes. Well, not everybody would cook like your village girl. Oh, well, that's how I like my food. Exactly like that or something better. Oh. Anyway, I've sucked him. You did what? I've sucked him. It's okay. As long as you're prepared to go into the kitchen and make your meals yourself. Well, what, what exactly is, is she doing in this house? Sleeping all day? What, what, what is she supposed to be doing in this house? Thomas. I don't have time for this rubbish. It's okay to suck him. Make your name yourself. No, Mom, is, is that all you have to say about this? Alright, fine. Fine, I know, I know exactly what I was going to do. Okay, I'm going to go to the hospital. You take this love for granted. You must pay. Kill it. Is she back yet? No, sir. Do you know what the time is? Past 10 and she's not back yet? Yes, sir. Maybe she went for the Because I've been, I've been, I've been awake. Security conscious. Nobody have knocked at the gate. Nobody have passed the gate. I'm not seeing Go back. Doing here. I'm coming. 
Won't you come to bed? I'm going to just, um, go inside and I'll be with you. I need you in bed right now. I said I'm coming. No! Okay, just give me ten minutes. I'll be with you. Ten minutes. Oh yes, ten minutes. Ten minutes, I'm coming. <clears throat> I said I'm coming. What, what is your problem? We are outside. What, what are you trying to do? Uh -uh. I said 10 minutes. I'm coming. <clears throat> A man must be defined by his priorities. Not by his desires Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority Mommy, no honesty, I am tolerating all this is excuses because of you What happened? I don't know what he's doing out there all by himself At this time of the night Outside? Yes! I I want to go. I want to go, mommy. I want to go. I'll just pack my things and leave this house. I'm not begging anyone to marry me. I was on my own and he came for me. Why is he treating me as if I'm in love of wood? You're too fine to frown. Okay? You're too fine for this, okay? Let me go and talk to you. I need him in bed. I am horny. I need him to come to bed. So this is what you have reduced yourself to. Are you sure you know whose son you are? Mom, can you please leave me alone? You should be ashamed of yourself. What are you doing out here? So at this age, you can't make up your mind about what you want. One minute you want, one minute you don't want. You're not sure what you what, what you can't make up your mind. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. What are you doing here? What are you sitting here waiting for? You should be in your bedroom with your wife. Go to your room. Your wife needs you. Go to your room and stop disgracing your father's, your late father's spirit. I'm not disgracing anybody. I'm just here because I, I can have someone living in my house out there. What is your business? This ungodly hour. What is your business? A woman that you have divorced, you can't take your eyes off her. Why won't you take your eyes off that stupid girl and concentrate on your family? Mom, can you please leave me alone? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You should be ashamed. Go to your room. Go to your room. You did your please leave Go me. to your room and stop disgracing your family. Hey! Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? 
I am talking to you, don't walk out on me. Where are you coming from? What right do you have to ask me that question? Who? <laughs> Wait a minute. My father? Who the hell are you again? As long as you remain in this house, you, I have the right to know your whereabouts. What do you mean, what, what right do I have? And who is that, that, that lunatic that dropped you off by this time of the night? Is, 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 is something wrong with him? Well, if you must know, the lunatic is my boyfriend. Deal with it. And listen, I am in this house because of your selfish political condition. You don't have any right to ask me where I went to. I am going to call him back to come take me back to where I am coming from. Since you won't have me, uh, don't, 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 don't touch my back. Don't come. Don't come. Just, you can go inside. Don't call now. Just go inside. Go and rest. You take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the vacuum, when she covers, nobody can cover it. Oh, you see this vacuum. I'm not in the mood for anything. You're not that. in the mood for what, Thomas? Why, why are you shouting? What? Because I've refused to speak all this while? You and your mother lied to my parents and I that you are divorced. That is exactly That is, is not true. You sneak out all the time to go be with her. Now let me ask you a question. Why are you coming back at this time of the night? What, what were you waiting for outside? I was receiving fresh air. That's, That's not true, Thomas. Not true. You know what? You and I, we are done. I am fed up. I am too big for this kind of treatment. Idiot. First thing tomorrow morning, I am leaving this house. To hell with your dick. To hell with your dick. Look. This, I came prepared. Watch me satisfy myself tonight. Rubbish. To hell with your dick! And I'm leaving tomorrow. Don't, don't beg me. Don't even try it. I think you have to continue this job while I go. I don't think it's okay for you to go. I have a better idea. Which is? We are from the same agency. We can swap office. I can cook too. And maybe your guy might like my food. It's a nice idea. Mm -hmm. But do you think he will listen to us? Yeah. That's the problem. He will. I'll personally talk to him myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do that for me. Of course I will. Thank you. Uh, my dear. Something in this house is confusing me. What is it? Who is that Auntie Margaret? I don't know, but I'm suspecting something. What are you suspecting? The other day, Philip the Gateman was telling me something about her. It's like she's august for my wife, but they are no longer together. I see it. See, I suspect she is his first wife. <sighs> I don't know. I'll find out from Philip later. He seems they are no longer together. Yeah? If they are no longer together, what is she still doing here? <sighs> nah. Oh, Alana, why you ask Philip to come and tell me? You understand? Right. <sighs> you can continue my work. Nah, eh? This house. Confusion everywhere. and beg her not to leave. You can't get out of bed. Come beg your wife and ask her not to leave. You can't even pet me not to leave, Thomas. 
I believe you are an adult. You know what you want. You know how to feel. So I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You never wanted me. It was your mother's making. But at the expense of my emotions. Thomas. I'll be fine. Don't you worry. I'll be fine, Thomas. And I will leave. Life goes on. But be rest assured that for all the maltreatments you gave me, I will report you to my father. You can't even... Men like you come to their wives, beg them, beg them not to leave. This is you pressing your phone. You are Carlos. You are Carlos, Thomas. You are Carlos. And it was me you found. Open this book. Open it. Going on. Oh, please do not call me by that name again. You knew your son doesn't want me. Why did you drag me out from the comfort of my father's home? Why? Only to be ridiculed. Oh, I Christ. don't understand what you're talking about. Swear you do not know. Swear you do not know that your son has been treating me like some some piece of shit. Am I that worthless? Can you just calm I'll down? Never be Okay, calm like this down. in my life. Okay, calm down. I'm going to go inside and talk to him. Okay? Oh, not to worry. I am done. You do not have to go in there to talk to anyone. Please. I am done with this, with this mess called marriage. Please calm down, please. Ah! Do not talk to me. Do not move. Feel behind from me. Do not talk to me like that. You will hear from my father. Come, listen. Oh, we can shut this out. Open the gate. Open that gate. Open that gate. Open that gate. Are you stupid? Sorry, ma'am. Thomas! 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 What are you still doing here? I thought I asked you to leave. Take. Leave! He's right. I'll try to beg you for something. What is it? Sir, both of us can change office. I'm a good cook too. And maybe you like my food. I don't like your food. I won't like your food. I know the food that I like. So don't tell me that. Now, if you want to stay in this house as a maid, fine. But if you want to live with him, that's okay. You are driving me insane! What is all this? Please, I need peace. You take this love for granted, you must pay. I think the MD is going through a lot. He is losing concentration in business. Yes, I, I suspect a marital issue. Yes. He broke up with Margaret. What? They are officially divorced. This is serious. Yes. Oh my yes. God. I wouldn't know why he chose to bring his mother into that house. Mm -hmm. What is that woman doing in that house? Exactly my point. She has to sit there in breaking this marriage now. Yes! She should go back to her husband's house. What is she doing there? Eh? Or she should go back to uh, abroad where she came from. Good day. Hi. Nothing can be more harmful in marriage than a mother-in-law living with her daughter-in-law. The truth is that two captains cannot steer a team at the same time. Yes! Ah! She should go back to abroad. What is she putting fire? Ah. Between husband and wife. Ah! Ah! This is bad. It's very bad.
witch. 3D witch. So you have succeeded. You have succeeded in using your witchcraft to make my son send away that classic girl from a very decent and dignified home that I got for him to marry. You have succeeded. It won't work. It will not work. I am going to Oh, shut this. up, please. Shut up. You didn't put, oh, you didn't use witchcraft, but you put a spell on him. What's the difference? I did not use a spell either. Really? Now listen to me. I don't blame you. It is myself I blame for allowing you stay in this house. I suggested it, that you stay on after the divorce. Well, that's not anymore. It's not going to happen anymore. So go in there, pack your things and get out of my house. Now you listen, I am going to make this clear. You've had so much joy trying to cause me pain in this house, my husband's house. No, but I won't beg you. I would leave. Oh, get out. Who's asking? I'm saying leave. You're still standing there. Get out. Rubbish. You have no place in this house. No place. Tell me what man in his right senses would, would chase away a girl like that and settle for a poor, a poor thing like you. Rubbish. Yeah, who is there? Who is there? You take her love for granted. You go there. You take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the fact where she covered. Hello, Philip. What? Okay, 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 listen, listen. Do not open the gate for her. On no account should you open the gate. Did you hear me? Make sure you keep her there till I come. up to one month you got divorced from your husband you already have a lover that means you have been sleeping with the guy all the while you have been cheating on my son get out get out get out go to the cheap thing you both belong together man you are leaving get out get out if you touch that bag i'll slap you please come back get out i don't i don't want to push you can you just leave don't make me push you. What? You're staring at me. What are you going to do? Fight me? Useless girl. That's the guy that befits you. Rubbish. I'm going to wait here and make sure that she gets out of this. In fact, this entire environment. Am I coming with you? What? Nonsense. Thomas! Thomas! 
No, Mom, wait. I'm coming. Thomas, come back here. How did he know? What? Who called him? I don't know. Who told him what was going I, I, on I, I, here? I, I, I don't know, Ma. You do not know. So how did he know? Mom, he came for lunch. He came for... Is, is it time for lunch yet? Brunch. Is it time for lunch? Mama, maybe it's brunch, ma. Eh, you see, all of you that do not want anything good for my son, all of you would have to leave this premises. All of you. Mama, I'm not, Shut I'm... up! Lock my gates. Yes, ma. What is wrong with you? What in God's name is wrong with you? Yes. And what gave you the right to hit my boyfriend? He has no right coming to my house to pick my wife. Is he mad? Is something wrong with him? Listen, listen, you better bring your voice down. You do not have a wife. I do not have your time because I have more important things to do. Okay, okay, can you just, just calm down? Let's talk about this thing. And what, are, what other important things are you talking about? More important than me? Really? Yes. Please remind me again. Who are you? From the... I'm your husband. <laughs> Did I hear you say husband? No, excuse me. Did I hear you say... Tom, take a good look at me. Look at my fingers. Does it look like I am still married or do I have a husband? Ivan, don't do this to us now. <laughs> don't do this to us. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I know that I have hurt you in the ways that is beyond description. I'm, I'm sorry for all the, all the humiliating words that I've said to you, all the embarrassing moments that has... I'm sorry. Please don't leave. Now you're apologizing. I, what happens afterwards? I, 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 I want us to go back to the way we used to be as husband and wife. I, I, I want us to, you know, forgive each other okay there's nothing for me to forgive you of you are the one who needs to forgive me so that we can you know revive our love for the sake Tom, of Tom, our Tom, children please. please can you just stop already as you can see i have a boyfriend a new man he loves me and i love him deeply we are getting married your mother didn't even want me to be with you in the first place so why don't you just leave me alone so i could have my peace please, please just forget about my mother Fine, I, I was the one who soiled our marital vow by bringing in another another woman into her marriage and soiled our marital vow. But please, let's not allow strangers into our marriage. Let them not destroy the things that we've built together. Please, don't leave me. The vacuum that you, you have created in my life is so huge. There's no woman that can take your place. I know it now. Tom. Babe. I feel nothing for you anymore. Please don't say that. I love my man and I love him deeply. Please don't say that, babe. Please. Goodbye. Please, babe, please don't. Don't leave me. Please, if you leave me, I, I will die. I'm, I'm dying. I'm you dying. are dying. Yes, babe. You are dying. Please don't leave me. This should be the very first and last time you would come after me. I do not want to see you anywhere around me. The next time you come an inch close to me, I'll call the police on you and make sure you rot in jail. Rubbish. And let me make this clear. The next time you touch my man, huh, you won't like the end of it. I'm sure your mother wouldn't like that as well. Babe, babe, please, wait. And get that luggage for uh, me. Ma I said get my luggage. Come here, your, your luggage? Are you stupid? Go and get my luggage! <laughs> Excuse me. Open this boot, please. Are you traveling? Yes, I am. I'm leaving this house for you people. I'm leaving so you all can continue with your nonsense. Tell your boss that I've gone back to my base. Huh? Ma, please don't go. Ma, will you come again? I hope this guy has AC. Put it on, put it on. Put it on now. You take her love for granted. 
kind of stupid mistake losing my precious ornament in pursuit of pebbles who, who does that who, i mean what kind of a thing is that Stop you always, but oh, please. I've come to ask you one thing. I, I, I know I don't deserve it, I know, but please just do this one thing for me, and I will never disturb you again for the rest of my life. Please bring my wife. I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. I don't know what came over me. I was, I was, I was out of my mind. A, a lot of things was just clouding my judgment. I'm sorry too. No, 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 no. There's nothing you should be sorry about. I, I was the one who offended you in every way. I, I hurt you. I abused your emotion. I underestimated your effort in the house. You took care of me very well. not my lover. Your mother actually walked up to me that very day. Margaret, I just came to let you know that my son's new wife will be coming back tomorrow. <laughs> Finally, I got a befitting wife for my son. You already know why you're here, don't you? Just make sure you keep your part of the bargain. Do you understand? As far as I'm concerned, you're like a refugee in a foreign land in this compound. So don't you? I repeat, don't you ever give my daughter-in-law the impression that you're still married to my son. Am I clear? Am I clear? I heard you. Good. That night was the worst night of my entire existence. I couldn't sleep. I mean, how could I? knowing that another woman is finally coming to take my position. I later encouraged myself and had my own plans too. But sister, why would I pretend to be your boyfriend when you are my cousin sister? Listen, this is not something we can talk about right now. But it's very important. It's for the good of my marriage. See, I, I need to save my marriage. 
So, how do we go about this now? Um, it's not an issue. I have everything all planned out already. My husband gives me money at the end of every month. He also pays in money into my account every week for my upkeep. All you need to do is just to get me a list of everything you need for the exercise. I will make the money available. I just, I need you to look good. I need my husband to be jealous when he sees you. Okay. Oh. Chinedu, mm -hmm. it's not a matter of, okay. I need you to put in effort. I've heard you. I'll do it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. It means a lot to me. Okay. So you send me your account number so I could forward you some money. And also don't forget to send the list as well. So I'm going to do that. Alright, so we need to leave, okay? Alright. You know, all I wanted was just to see the face of the woman that that was going to take my place. That was why I stayed outside. Because I knew I had nothing doing outside. I just had to take a call. I wasn't actually talking to anybody that day. Just... Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I just... I just... I, just, I, I was just thinking to myself, who could that be? I mean, she doesn't have any friends. She doesn't, she doesn't stay talking I, to anyone on the phone. I was only fighting to be strong. I wanted a divorce. Wait a minute. This is shocking. You know, your husband made it look like you both had a mutual agreement to go for a divorce. I didn't want to leave permanently. <laughs> so now all I wanted was a break. I just wanted some time to myself. I know my husband still loves me. <laughs> and I love him too. The only problem we had was his mother's presence in the house. <laughs> and that was the reason I decided to take a short trip to my father's house. Because I knew that once his mother left, he would come looking for me. My husband cannot live a day without me. It's so sad that she that she was able to use that avenue to, to achieve her long evil plans. So you don't want a divorce? I don't want it. Sonia, I still love my husband. I don't want a divorce. I don't. It's okay, all right? That's okay. Listen, I'm going to help you. You won't get a divorce, okay? Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you. Please. I love my husband. No. Can, can you stop crying? I'm crying. Please, just pull yourself together, okay? What was, what was that thing I signed? <laughs> Mom, your husband was here the other day. And then he already signed the document. So you need to sign this sign here too. Um, but you promised there wasn't going to be any divorce. Listen, without a court degree, this is just nothing but a med certificate. Yeah. You will need a proper court decree to make it official and legal. So even with you signing this, Without a proper court decree, you are still not yet divorced. Trust me. Just sign. Okay. 
So where do I sign? Just like that. Okay. That's fine. All right, got you. I know. So. You were only parading yourself with a piece of paper that had no legal binding. There was never going to be a divorce. You know I messed up. I messed up everywhere. I messed up big time. I owe you a sincere apology. I was wrong. I hurt you. I was the one who, who brought, brought in another woman. I made love to her. In our matrimonial bed, I have committed a sacrilege that against you and against God. Can you ever forgive me? Ever? Do you know they say to err is human? I forgive you. How can you even forgive me for all the things that I've done to you? But you see this thing that you have done? I will never take you for granted. Whatever you will do to me in the future, whatever, I forgive you. No, whatever it is, I, I don't care what it is, I forgive you. It's okay. What did I do to deserve you? I love you. Then I love you too. Oh. It's <laughs> okay. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> go for your meat first. You know. You always go for your meat mm. before you start eating the food properly. The meat carries the taste of all the food. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to have the taste all at once. But... Really? Mm -hmm. I see. You know, this is the aspect of you I really missed so much. Mm. Your cooking. I can't even... I can't even remember how I survived without it. Tell me more. I mean, how can one person be endowed with all this ability and beauty and everything? <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for thanking me. Does that even make sense? Oh well, the Germans would say Danke Shay. Thank you. And what does the house ask you? Now go there. <laughs> Thank you. Now go ahead and eat your food and you'll be in sports brats. Yes, ma'am. Aww. <laughs> I was meaning to ask you, have you noticed that the MD has returned to his normal cell? That is because Margaret has returned to him. She did? Yes! After the divorce, there was no divorce in the first place. It was a mere camouflage between my wife and Margaret. It was not real. <laughs> you don't know women. <laughs> I'm so happy now. Mm. Believe me, their love will be operated in a higher frequency now. Exactly. 
Especially now that the mom has returned to the UK. Oh, she has gone back. Yes! <laughs> Everything is now moving on smoothly. <laughs> as it should be. Hey. Huh? I wonder what she was doing there. Commanding, cook this, cook that. Uh, you know? So, what exactly are we celebrating? Hello. We are celebrating you, my wife. The one meant for me. My special gift from heaven. Mm. The only one that gets me. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to say thank you for letting things go, especially for forgiving my mom and I. I know, I know it's like a repetition, but I don't want to get tired of saying thank you because what you did was superhuman. You see, in my quest to becoming a member of the House of Assembly, I contested twice and twice I failed but you my priceless Joel the only one that really loves me for me <laughs> my good luck charm oh. my precious spell you <laughs> contested once and you won voila congratulations again thank you I am so happy thank you very much and I love you that is a <laughs> <laughs> Mom! Congratulations, my darling. Thank you. I am so proud of you. So proud. Thank, Thank you. you once again. Thank you. Mom, Mom, I thought we talked about this yesterday. It's fine. I just can't help it. I mean, I, I okay. have been such. You deserve it. Mom, 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 mm. it's okay. Mm. We are fine. I am happy. My husband is happy and you are happy. I love you, Mom. Oh, so much. Can I have a glass? Yes. yes you like As a matter of fact, you should have mine. I'll get another one. Are you sure? Don't worry, I'll get my gentleman. I know. No, no, no. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things How he handles things A man must be defined By his priorities Not by his desires Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority Cause a real man I feel like a priority I'm not an option She's not an option She's not an option Not an option Stop making her to cry She's not an 